Welcome everyone to the Gil Fraser Reserve for the Wastaka OD2 semi-final between Western Suburbs and Fremantle Mosman Park. I'm assuming Western Suburbs won the toss and elected to bat. It's a very it's a good hard wicket, a little green, but the bounce should be true. Early swipe across the line there, what we expect down in OD2s. We might get some uh, guest commentators stepping up to the plate very soon. Uh, the Dr. Corms is going to come in and have a bit of a chat with us. Welcome, Dr. Corms. Thank you, Boris. Boris. <laughs> working. One, two, one, two, you got the check. You got the check, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, got the check, got the check. Perfect. Oh, what a fabulous day here for a festival of cricket at the Gill. One day two is Fremantle Mosman Park versus, oh, big slog. Some western suburbs there. Oh, you might only have one shot today, which is across the line. And Tim Bott, the virus, player's comfort, measured 80 before the game. Slight uh, sea breeze coming in across the ground. We'll probably pick up a little bit later today. Bad luck to those guys uh, swimming from port to pub. Um, obviously better than a few weeks ago from the cot to uh, Frio, uh, cot to Rottnest swim. And it's the captain here, Rich Harry's coming into bowl. Good length. Just bend it on to the uh, on side. So let's go around the grounds. Who we got in the team here today, uh, Mr. Virus? Um, Should we start at uh, mid off? Yeah, whereabouts is that on the field? <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at number 17 there. In comes Richie to bowl. Last ball of the first over. Oh, oh, great well piece fielded. of fielding there by Sammy. Absolutely well fielded. That was Sammy Field, I believe. I don't know he's giving him an extra ball for finishing off this over. I'm not sure I've seen the ground look in such spectacular condition uh, this time of uh, year, so credit go to the groundsman for keeping this, uh, this pitch. And in the effects, Mikey, you might hear that the fake shrug has just arrived. Uh, Mr. One, Pugalicious. You can come join me for special comments as well, Pugs. A bit later. Very good. And that's uh, the first over. And I think they mentioned change of bowler to Hollandaise. Is that correct, Timbot? Is it Hollandaise? Holiday. Holiday. Let's see if we can send this batsman out for a holiday. So holiday with two L's. Ooh. Yeah. So looking out, we've got out at Cow. there is uh, Davy Lawrence. Bit of a grand final specialist, uh, Davy Lawrence. Fake shrug is in good voice here at the, uh, at the Gill. Not sure why he wasn't here for the first ball. Bit, bit slack, he only lives around the corner. 
but you can feel the tension here. I think it's uh, I think it's about to break pretty soon. Ooh, there it is. First boundary for the day. I haven't seen anything on the onside, offside from this gentleman at the moment, so I think it's going cross bat. I think an LBW appeal is going to be coming in fairly soon. Square leg at 99, we have Todd Kruger. Holiday with two L's coming into bowl. Round the wicket, right arm, a little bit of off spin, I think. Is it uh, TB? Right arm off spin. Right arm off spin. Pitching in line and straightening. Yes. Where's that one going? On to Dave Bar uh, going to Davey Dave. Lawrence. Davey Lawrence out at uh, the sweeper. Only one on that arm. Oh, yes, here we go. We've got someone else to come into commentary in a second here. I've just seen Jack Lafroy lo rock up. Your service is going to be required in a second, mate. Step on over chat. Yeah. Catch it. Oh, Todd Krug has just catch. been moved there and he's hit it straight to him. Another cross bat specialist. That's a big wicket in the second over. Probably could have predicted that. But did not have to move straight into the bread basket. No evidence that he was going to drop that at all. Waiting for the score to update, but that's one for eight in the second over. In this 1v4 semi final, one day two. You got something in the ball that the camera follows? Um, <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> um, when we get some more personnel, when our crew rock up, which we're paying uh, lots of money, <laughs> um, we will have some extra people to jump on the cameras and provide a, a much better broadcast. Uh, the new batsman is Gav Sharma. Mm. Nav Sharma is the new batsman. Um, Holiday coming into bowl first. Oh, straighten him up. Just got his bat into that before it hit his pads. Special shout out goes to uh, club stalwart uh, Cameron Henry on his birthday today. Big shrugger. Oh, oh, well taken, keeper. Not sure if Western Suburbs might have a party to get to early yeah. today. Um, all I've seen is not a lot of defence and a lot of cross bat. Oh, wow. Right back in his crease. Absolutely. He probably doesn't want to miss that one. What do you reckon? I wouldn't have thought so. Certainly these two umpires are looking itching to get in the game, as they always do. Yeah. Anything on the pads, I think he's going to be reaching for the stars. What a glorious day down here, mate. Well, that's why I said player comfort it's at incredible, isn't it? At the moment, yes. Uh, we do have a... Sour westerly blowing, and it's it's uh, there could be a sheep ship <laughs> <laughs> docked at the moment. Oh, I thought that was you, body, but uh, <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. thank you for confirming that that's uh, obviously a live uh, <laughs> stock trade heading out. <laughs> so, Rich Harry's the skipper in for his second over for the day. What's he going to deliver here? Shortened his run up a little bit, uh, old Rich. Oh, here we go. Is the catch? Is the catch? Oh, he's got him! Oh, the cross bat's not working today. Number 44. Who's number 44? Timmy Bod. Uh, is it Dave Lawrence? No, it's not Dave Lawrence because he moved quite quickly, number 44. 44. Anyhow. It was a very good catch. Is that Sammy Field again? So it's at 41 is Sam Field, 44. Is it Holiday? Is it Holiday? Holiday. Well, he can't get him out of the game. Took the first wicket bowling in his first over. 
Now on the third over, great catch at mid on. Give us a wave, mate. Yes, we have confirmed. 44 is holiday. Apologies to his parents back home, uh, thinking that was that their son that did take that catch. Yes, it was. Moved very quick to his right, actually. Put in five big steps, balanced himself, kept his eye on the ball. Didn't look like he was going to drop that. And we've got a left-hander coming in now just to change things up. So Richie Harris has said, yep, I'm going to come around the wicket. Leathers. Stepping into the commentary box is Jack Lafoy. Oh. Now we've got a bit of expertise in the, co in the commentary box, someone who knows how to play cricket. Welcome, Jack. Thanks for having me. How are you seeing it so far, mate? Well, it's a nice day down here at the Gill. Good start for the Pirates. Certainly is two for nine after 2.2 overs. Right what the Pirates wanted here. Oh, Ooh, bit of bat. It looks like we might be seeing some more defensive shots from uh, the number four batsman. We didn't see that in the first three batsmen uh, so far, Jack. A lot of cross bat stuff. Yeah, a few interesting shots and some good fielding by the Pirates. Absolutely. Oh, oh he's put his arms out. Any chance to get in the game, the boys in blue want to do that. A bit of movement there for Rich. A little bit too much. Gliding down leg side there, Jack. Usually gets a little bit of away swing, doesn't he? Two-piece ball. Imagine he can do anything he wants with it, old Rich. Oh! Certainly in the game. Let me put some of the lid up under there. What do you think, Jack? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad call at two for nine. Put a bit overs in, put a bit of pressure on the batsman. He's got this whole leg side open if he wants to continue like his fellow colleagues and go cross bat. So that's the uh, trap they're setting for him here. Oh, how is that one? Right on the money there, Rich. <laughs> Asking the question to the umpire. I think the umpire said that he wasn't watching it, so uh, couldn't give it out. Probably not used to having umpires in this grade, <laughs> these boys. Absolutely not. Rich coming in to finish off his over, which has been a very, very nice over indeed. Right on the spot. Look at Halliday racing back for his second over for the day. He wants another wicket. So it's going to be a bit of a festival of cricket here today, Jack, with uh, the Pirates second grade being the third grade semi-final here against uh, Bass and Dean. Bass and Dean, what's your, uh, what's your thoughts on that so far, mate? Well, the uh, third grade Pirates look like they're batting first. They finished on top of the ladder and playing fourth place Bass and Dean. They lost, I think, two games for the season and three outright wins, so they're certainly a very good side, led by our captain Beardo. So we are going in pretty confidently today, I think. Oh, absolutely. Bit of a forward defence, but uh, completely played all around that one. Lucky not to uh, nick it off to the keeper. Oh, here we go. Is that going to make it? No, two bounces to the better bot. Oh, no two runs on that arm. Get them through pretty quick here, Holder. He Fast off spinning. It certainly is. They're a well oiled machine, is what I see with this one, do one day two pirates. Got 
short covering plays. He's a thinking captain, Rich Harris. Always thinking, how can he take a wicket? First ball for the left-hander to uh, face up to Halliday. And just has a look at him. Ooh, quicker one. Well bowled, certainly worth a try. A lot of dot balls building this pressure. Yeah, run rate 2.86 we can see on the scoreboard. Ooh. Sammy Field covering the ground nicely there. That was an easy three and he kept it to one. Certainly gets through his overs pretty quickly as well, Holiday. He certainly does. So we're up to over five here. Uh, four of his gone, two for 12. And it's Rich Harry's continue. He is one for five at the moment. Charries over the wicket to the left-hander. So for those of you thinking to heading down to the Festival of Cricket here at the Gill, bring your uh, togs and a towel. Actually, it's the uh, Alfred Road Park slide-off today, uh, kicking off at 11. So head to Alfred Road, have a bit of a slide down the hill and then come down to the gill and see where these pirates are, uh, are at. In a good position here, the one day twos, but wanting to tighten the screws a little bit further, I would say, Jack, a few more wickets here, a few more dot balls. Yeah, I'm definitely after a few more early wickets to keep the pressure on. What a dot ball so far though. Not too many boundaries. No, only one so far today. On the money once again, Rich Harries. He could do it all day, I would say. Well, Rich might be over the wicket, looking to angle across and swing back into the left hand here. Through the gate and take off stump out of the ground, I would suspect. Oh, get the pads coming. Oh, he had a good think about that. Close. Rich thought about sending it upstairs. DRS has just clocked off, so he's missed his opportunity. So we've got the Harry's brothers out here today. Rich, obviously the skipper, and his younger brother, Michael, or Mick, or Juice, as he's also known. I'm not quite sure where he gets that name, Juice, from. Oh, in the air, but uh, safe. Are they going to go bowler with... Ooh, I threw it out there. Disco. That's some going aerial again. They certainly are. Choice. Yeah, especially with this outfit looking fabulous. Props to uh, the council or their, uh, whoever they contract out to look after the guild. Reese Jones might have something to do with that as well, I think. The first grade vice captain. Yeah, certainly my 10 years of uh, living down here in North Fremantle, I've never seen the ground look as good as it is. Oh, and look who we've got coming on here. Born from an egg on a mountain top. It is Leon Ewing. He's a bit of a final specialist, actually, so uh, good idea to inject him into the game. He's a bit of a good luck charm. He's bit very like eager to get on there. He certainly is. Uh, I saw him doing his... Uh, core activities this morning, getting his, his core active and ready to go. Yeah, he loves a stretch before he gets into his cricket. Leon. He certainly does. That is Leon Ewing of the Beaverloop fame for, for those that uh, 
are into their independent music. Obviously, we're entrance into the first ever Hottest 100 with, ooh, worth a shout. Might have been a little bit high, maybe down leg. Wanted to be turning it back a fair way, bowling uh, right arm around the wicket. Oh, here it is, it's guiding. Can he get there? Oh, no. Chased by Rich Harry's down to the boundary. Comfortable two runs. Chase is probably a loose term that I would use. That sound you hear in the background is Richie's air brakes just uh, <laughs> as he was pulling up there. Uh, it was like the Queen Mary coming into Fremantle Harbour there. Uh, had a few tugs trying to uh, pull him along. But kept it to two. Was a chance though, big top edge. Yeah, the false shot there from the batsman. Just out in the full toss. Did hold up in the air quite a bit. Ooh. I think it's number three batsman said he's seen enough. He's going to be quite aggressive here. He is. I, I see one going through the gate here and uh, a few cartwheels happening. Oh, no. Just going over, I'd say. Shorter one from Holiday. Another tight over. So six overs down, two for 16. A run rate under three. That's certainly what the Pirates would have been uh, asking for in their team meeting prior to prior to the game today. Which Harry is continuing here for his fourth over. Yeah, I think uh, seeing the way he was uh, inverted commas chasing that ball down, I think he might want to bowl his uh, his full quota here. I'm not sure if he would be able to back it up uh, after a bit of a break in the field, but we'll wait and see. Side edge, they're very, very lucky, and that's squirted down for the second boundary for the day. Peppering this front pad. Or is there a bit of bat in there? No. So I think it was a worth a shout. The umpire indicated it was going down leg side. Harry's in his fourth over, coming in for his fourth delivery. Oh, bit of pad on that. Well taken down leg side by Robbo, the keeper. Two slips here for Rich Harry's. <laughs> Bend it onto leg side. Certainly no run on Todd Kruger's arm there. And Robbo pretty sharp behind the stumps as well. Number seven. Walking back, getting ready to uh, receive another Rich Harry's ball tearing delivery.
keeping it very tight here at the gill. Two for 21 or seven. So Halliday coming in for his fourth over for the day. They've set Leon, we Leon Ewing all the way out to cow corner for the left-hander. See if he's tempted to uh, put it over his head or not. Big discussion here in the middle between the batsmen. Yeah, not quite sure what it's about. Maybe they've got some livestock that's on the boat to talking about what prices they might be getting. Money, Mr. Holiday. Full toss, just defended back down the pitch. Oh, big slash outside off stump. All taken by Robbo. Bit of shades of Nathan Lyon here in Holiday's uh, as he advances into to the crease. See a bit more hair than uh, the old goat. Yeah, nice bit of bounce there as well. Oh, there it is, that quicker one. Got past the bat. Umpire's thinking about it and says no. Oh, it's very close that one. Cut the tension with a knife here now. I reckon about eight out of ten for the appeal there from from Holiday. He is all over today. A bit more loop in this one. Well fielded, it's short cover. And that's a, quick a over. maiden over for the day. Davy Lawrence, yeah, he's uh, a bit of an enigma. He uh, tries to fox the uh, the batting team into that he's not really interested, not really focusing, but you don't want to have a run on his arm. Of course, the club champion player this year. Absolutely, on a bit of a uh, green patch. Couple of uh, couple of tons for the year for for Davy with the bat. And yeah, it's an unbelievable season. And very, very handy in the latter overs coming into bowl as well. Um, again, he's a bit laconic, but uh, he puts a lot of anger into that ball. Quite warming up out there as well, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure if the I'm not sure if the skipper saw that. No, he probably needs to be a bit more vigorous with with that activity. Oh, he's coming across. Uh, Richie might be trying to move him across his stumps, and then. Uh, Get that quicker one, bit straighter, and see if he can uh, get him a judged leg before. Reaching into his fifth over now, only eight, of course, for the day. I wonder if he'll leave himself a few for the later overs. Oh, Leaked. oh here we go, the chance. chance. Sammy Field. Sammy Field. Had a dive. Jumped up like a whippet. Hit the ball back into uh, the keeper, but fortunately the number four batsman had made his ground. A slash tempt him outside off stump. And on the turf wicket, uh, we have Dave Barrett and McCormack heading out to uh, open the proceedings for the uh, Pirates' second grade uh, team. Oh, nice 
nicely played uh, to mid-wicket there. But fielded by Fielding. He is all over it today. It's a bit like Mardi Gras for, for Fielding, isn't it? The balls are coming towards him. And he's just lapping them up. Harry slowly wandering into the crease. Ooh, nice ball, well played. And the little boy wonder, Leon Ewing, fielded that one at mid on. I guess a shout out, probably watching today in his, uh, in his mansion in Wembley would be big Mikey Trembles, uh, recovering from, uh, from his little mishap at this end of, uh, of the synthetic pitch at the Gill. Uh, early, uh, no, it was late November, wasn't it, last year? Not in 69, it was in late November 23. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you're doing well, Trembles. Rich looking tired now. Yeah, he certainly he is, uh, yeah. Might be the end of his spell. So. Or is he trying to fox the... Fox, the no, he has. He's pointed to someone. I'm not sure who he pointed to that's uh, going to be coming from the grandstand end next. Did he point to his brother Mick? Did he? Point, I don't think he pointed to David Lawrence because he's all the way out at Cow Corner. Shorter one from Holodak. Straight to the fielder at midwicket. Yeah, I think uh, Rich Harris is. Uh, Getting full ticks for his field placement at the moment. Mm. All right, sounds good. It's our AV man, TB the virus, Tim Bot. Club person of the year, back to back, Tim Bot. Peter unfortunately, we missed that, uh, the pirate extravaganza. Some of us have to work, unfortunately. <laughs> Great acceptance speech as well. Tim. Oh, how's that for fielding? Who is that? Is uh, Tommy Kruger with the slide and the foot? No, it wasn't Tommy Kruger. Who is that one? Oh, and one short. There you go. I told you these boys in blue want to get in the game any chance they can. Have we ever seen one short in the one day two competition? I wouldn't have thought so, no. I think we could go back to maybe the days of when Adam Lang was umpiring that we may have seen that. wardrobe malfunction for the number four batsman at the non-strikers end. That's the delay that we have here. In comes Holiday now. Oh, really pushing him back on his crease, isn't he? Uh, just setting up for that faster one. Yeah, I feel like the quicker straight one might be coming. And number four over in the third grade, a boundary to Dave Barrett in the first over. Yeah, he just leant back on his back foot and just whacked it uh, backward of point. One of his favourite shots, that one. Oh, it is Davy Lawrence. Let's go. Toddy Kruger coming over for a well and rest. Contributing the field with a nice catch for the first wicket uh, of the day. And obviously wants to save himself when he comes out and goes schwack, opening the batting for the one day two Pirates. One of the biggest hitters of the balls in the competition, I'd say. Absolutely. So Disco Davy Lawrence just setting his mark here, right arm over the wicket to both, I think, the left-hander and the right-hander. He's got the left-hander to deal with uh, first up. Uh, And is that the Channel 9 chopper coming in over now just to get uh, a bit of footage of the ground? Obviously, Boy Wonders connected here and uh, 
Got more cables and computers and cameras. You can poke a stick at here, ladies and gentlemen. Doing a great job, Timbo. The disco coming in from the grandstand end at Gil Fraser. Oh, that's, he's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. Oh, is there a run out? Is there no? That was very close. Maybe just down leg side. Was there bat on that or is that, uh, oh no, it's leg by. So, by the looks of things, it needs to be very, very out today to be a judge LBW, which I think is a good thing that the umpires are staying out of that decision process. Yeah, it was definitely full enough. Just a matter of line, I'd say. Packed offside field here for Disco to the right-hander. Oh, a bit of bounce there for Dave. First look at Dave Lawrence for the number three bat, so he uh, was quite defensive there, but lucky not to uh, edge that either into the two slips waiting there. Or the uh, keeper Robbo would love to open his account with his gloves this morning as well. Oh, straight down leg side and he was all over that. I think that's going to run its way down to the boundary. Yeah, not where he's wanting to ball there, Disco. It's only a mid wicket and a mid off on the leg side. I don't think he wanted to put it down there. Keeper has done well to uh, stop that running down for a couple of runs. Bump ball though, so it certainly wasn't a chance. Well, we've just put the shore pack, shore pack drone up into the air. So we've got some aerial shots, compliments of club major sponsor Shawpack. Want anything wrapped in plastic? Just give Shawpack a call. And a beautiful day here at North Fremantle. Blue skies. Absolutely. And we can see the sheep ship there that's wafting down through the harbour. Beautiful smell. And there has been another bowling change. We have Michael Harry's. Mick is he's eventually called. Your real estate specialist for the Fremantle and North Fremantle area. Just phone Mick Harry's at Deathridge Groves. There it is, the beautiful North Fremantle. It is the beautiful North Fremantle. 88% growth in property values over the last five years, 30% growth in the last 12 months. You see your house there on the corns, that graphic? Uh, imagine Body Poppy's come spies on my pool quite a bit uh, with his drone, so. Rich Harris is onto everything, ensuring that the scorers know that it's his younger brother coming into bowl. Ooh, a bit of a chance. Leon, nice slide. Right on the money. Slow approach from Mick Harris, but a very nice, smooth action. Yeah, I was speaking to, uh, to Mick in the pregame, and uh, he attests that to the last 12 months he has been uh, delving in yoga once a week. Uh, says he's quite svelte and supple now. And you can see that now with his second delivery. That was certainly a lot quicker. Beats the outside edge. 
And on the stellar industrial speed camera, that was clocking in at 1.15 days an hour. So it doesn't take long for the juice to, uh, to get into his, uh, into his day. And there it is again. Yeah, I think uh, Robbo's just saying to the slips, yeah, let's take a couple of steps back here because with that breeze behind him, the Mick is, uh, is certainly, uh, certainly pumping it through. Very, very watchful from the number three batsman here, Jack. <laughs> nice areas there from Mick, just hitting a good spot outside the off the batsman play. Pull the one down the leg side and that will run away. Oh, and it's hit the plank. It is hit the plank. It's a fine. It's got a bit of bat on that. Four runs. Full toss on his hip. Put away nicely. I've just had a message from the home front to uh, head back and sort a few things out. So I'm going to Jack pass over to the other statesman of the club. Cookie, who runs the bar, runs five wicket hauls when he's playing for the one day fours. Over to you, Cookie. Welcome, Cookie. Yeah, good afternoon, all. I'm sure it is afternoon by now. Absolutely. Up by the crack of noon. Don't miss anything. Wish you're out there today, Cookie. Do you wish you're out there today? Oh, I'm quite happy to be a spectator as well. I think it's a really exciting day for the club. Two games, two great games on here today. So, um, should be an enjoyable afternoon. Can you touch the drawing sword? The end of the uh, Michael Harry's. I don't know Another uh, bit of drone footage here, courtesy of Tim Bott. Beautiful day at the Gill. Well mowed by Reese Jones. Shout out if he's watching. And, uh, show of the turf and Astro wicket. The river in the background. One of the best, best grounds in WA for sure. over, first ball, straight to cover and fired straight back to the keeper's hands. Full toss there from Dave, nice to use the facilities. Yeah, absolutely. Dave in, over the wicket to the right-hander. And defended. Glorious day here at the Guild. Nice boats. Cast boat. to be 34, but much cooler than that here. With that nice boat. The ocean style. Plenty of boats on the river today as well. Yes, that's right. It's all happening out there. Looking out towards Fremantle in the ocean. Oh, and no ball. No ball there from Dave. Front foot. Sure the next one. The miss. Good ball by Dave Lawrence. Through the keeper. Those lines are also looking excellent from that drone footage. What do you think, Cookie? The, the lines, the markings on the ground. Do you know who's do you know who's done them? I think Tim Bott. Yeah, Did correct. Oh. 
Playing the miss outside the off stump. Well bowled by Dave. Not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful day here. He'll be on the bar soon, Cookie. And a big shot. In the air, in the air, and caught by Ben Bott. Ben Bott. Ben Bott, beautifully caught by Ben Bott. Ball by Dave Lawrence, brought the aggressive shot. And caught. Caught at cover. Western Suburbs, three down. Three for 36. Great start. Great start by the Pirates. That'll end Dave Lawrence is over. Three for 36 off 13. Good start by the Pirates. Now the beginning of Michael Harry's over on the River End. So it'll be Mick Harry's over the wicket to the left-handed batsman with two slips in plays. Short cover. Harry's comes into ball. Played through square leg there. So I'll come back, come back for a second. Fielded by Leon, comfortable two runs. One defend, good ball defended by the batsman. He's straight back to the ball. moves in again. Well, ball by me. Played out to middle. No run. In the air. Ooh. And dropped. An unbelievable effort there. A holiday by the looks of it. One-handed diving catch. Brought about the false shot there. Looped up to mid on. Great effort. Quick single. The new batsman on strike. Right hander on strike. Harry's moves in. Full toss straight back to the bowler. No run. End of the end of the Harry's over. Another tight over there for the Pirates. And over in third grade, it's none for nine, or 4.5. Dave Barrett, eight off 14, and McCormack off to a flyer, one off 15. I'm not sure how many minutes he's faced yet, but he'll be happy with that start.
Lawrence moving into bowl again to the left hand. Flashing outside the off stump through the key. Quite an aggressive shot there at this stage of the game. Driven down the ground, no run. Straight back to Cut through slips and a diving effort, and that'll run down to the boundary. Four runs. Chance there, the Pirates. Look like second slip. Chances diving to their left. Just missed the hands. A lot of runs coming from false shots here. moves in again. Good ball up in the block hole. Straight out to cut. No run. Short, cut away, through point. But Ben Bott's after it, and it'll just be a single. Right hand of the face, and David Lawrence moving in again. Lashed away outside the off stump. Just outside the off stump. And it looks like probably four runs. Just through between second slip and backward point there. Nicely played. Open the face. Or a little bit edgy perhaps. A little bit edgy. Yeah. That ends the over. Three for 49. Mick Harry's again from the River End. Mick in. And a four defence. No run. Short cover, no run. How was your cricket season this year, Cookie? Pretty happy with your results? Well, we didn't get into the finals, but um, yeah, it was, uh, it was um, a good season. Actually, played half of it doing veterans. We, we, um, Two, two, two T20s, in fact. So, um, on the turf wicket, Cookie? Yeah, it was on, it was on the two turf wickets they have there. 
So that was a, an exciting, uh, an exciting finish to the season. Something a little bit different. Turning and, back um, the clock. Oh well, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it was, uh, everyone enjoyed it, and uh, we pulled in the whole Sunday, so from the morning to the evening. So um, that's the end of it. Another few months, in there, as far as veterans go. One of the vets. Um, is here supporting How long has it been the over? Western Suburbs. So, um, he's been quiet at the moment. Driven through point, coming back for a second. So, the supporter of Western Suburbs here today is Sam Davis, who represented Australia just recently in the um, over 60. Did very well. And uh, he's, um, Doing some scoring. I'll have to get him on the mic with you later, Cookie. Get you on the mic with him later. Oh and yeah. talk about yeah. veterans cricket some more. Yeah, sure. I'm sure the viewers will be into that one. Absolutely. I'm sure I'd like to say a few words. Dave Lawrence coming into bowl again. Through to the keeper. He's managed to get an edge on it. Got some shouldering arms. Through the keeper, outside off stump. Ball by Dave, driven, driven into the covers, no run. So we've just been informed. Over here in third grade, um, the score has progressed to number 14. And Bassendine Bass winning the toss and bowling first oh, must have, yeah. in that game. Yeah. Uh, I would have <laughs> thought so. Yeah. In a final, runs on the board in the yeah. final is usually yeah. what they So Disco continues. Started quite well here. Dave Lawrence again to move in. Straight back past the ball. No run. Cut and dropped. Dropped a gully. Was short, wide from Disco. Cut very hard. Very hard. Tough chance. Went down. Yeah. Lucky Struggled hit. it for a bit. Bloody. Cut and dropped. Dropped a gully. Was short. Indeed, yes.
He carries in for a new over, plan to miss. In for a new over, plan to miss. Big shout. The umpire is unmoved. I'll just have a quick look at that one again. Big shout. Which Harry's in disbelief at first slip. Driven. Three covers, just a single. Disco fielding with his feet. Driven again down the ground. Quick single. Single to mid off. Well run. Toss driven to cover. No run. Down the leg side. That's me. Started. Take one. Leg buys there. Sensible. This will be Dave Lawrence again from the pavilion end. Eight overs gone in the third grade semi-final. None for 19 for the Pirates. Slow and steady over there. It's half an hour gone. 30 minutes mm -hmm. added to Charlie's minutes tally for the season. Mm -hmm. Charlie's a big minutes man. Okay. moves in again. Driven to mid off. No run. Full toss. Driven through point. Another single. Close to a no ball, I'd say, but umpires let it go. Lucky to get away with just one, I think. There? Yeah. Stacked offside field again for Disco. Keeper with the helmet on coming up to the stumps as well. Bit more pressure on the batsman here. Yeah. 
definitely time to put the pressure on. Quite wide outside off stump and indeed cool to wide. Stacked offside field again for Disco. Keeper with the helmet on coming up to the stumps as well. A bit more pressure on the batsman here. Turned down the leg side. Just the one run. Yeah, not where Sco wanted to bowl that one with the field set. Easy single. Down the leg side. Driven uppishly to covers for no run. Good looking shot from the batsman, but no run again. Under edge on the bounce through to the keeper. Definitely a false shot. Under edge. Four runs. Twenty, not for twenty-four now. Third grade. Four just hit by Charlie. Yep. McCormick, Charlie McCormick on twelve. Dave Barrett on ten. So very, very solid start from these two, two openers. So it should be the last over before the drinks break. Mick coming in. Driven. And a quick single to mid off. Driven. And a quick single to mid off. They're number 24. Sorry. That's the Pirates scoring the Pirates. third grade. Could be. Sorry, they're four. They're four for, uh, for three, for, three for fifty-eight, and a run-out yeah. opportunity, and out. And another wicket. A run-out to the Pirates. Went for the quick single. So that's four for fifty-eight. And now four for fifty-nine. They're number twenty-four. Sorry, that's the Pirates scoring the Pirates. third grade. Sorry, they're four. They're four for, uh, for three, three for fifty-eight, and a run-out opportunity. Yeah. And now we'll be uh, taking a drinks break at four for fifty-nine, just uh, just past the nineteen over mark. We'll just have a quick another look at that run-out there. I think.
Mick Harry's rolling from the river end after a short drink break. Oh, down that side, great take. Oh, and he's given him. Fantastic catch down the leg side. Mick Harry's. Great delivery there down the leg side. Let's have a look at that one. Western Suburbs in a spot of bother here at 5 for 59. Mason to the crease has had a, uh, a good season. Has, an, has had an up and down season. Do you want to come and talk about him? Anyone want to? Mike Selby. Mike Selby from Western Suburbs shout joins us now. Shout out to all the babes watching. I know they're, I know they're out there. <laughs> Um, so how's his season been, mate? Has he been scoring many runs? He's been he's been up and down the order. So I think he's been our number three for a few times. He's probably averaging like two or three. Down at number seven, I think he's averaging twenty. So okay, he's great. For a few today. Well, that one kept a little bit low. Um, and uh, t tell us about the guy at the non-strikers and who's that one? That's Dean. Uh, he's been our number four for the best part of the season. Uh, he doesn't like getting out of LBW. I'll tell you that for free. Right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so with the uh, official umpires today, there's no no disputing. That's it. He's got no excuse. In come McHarry's. A short one. Mick, wind, Mick winding back the clock there, and that's the end of a successful over. That was a a wicket made, but it actually had two wickets because of the run out, I believe. Now, did you have a hit today? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you were the run-out just before drinks, were you? Oh, mate, well, we had a look at the replay there, and you're probably out by, um, by good, a couple of inches. Of yeah, the, uh, if it hadn't been a direct hit, you would have been in. So we've got uh, the club champion, Dave Lawrence, continuing from the uh, road end. Be a good chance for the association. Yeah, what do you reckon? Champion, yeah, um, I think he scored over 500 runs, close to 600 runs, and he's taken about 17 wickets. Couple yeah, of catches. That's about right. I'd put him up there. Yep. And how's your season been, mate? We've, we've done well. I think we've done well to get to the semi. Um, yeah, I think this is our first final in like five years. Oh, congratulations, so, yeah, mate. Well. Dave Lawrence, lovely drive through the offside. Great bit of fielding there from Ben Bott at extra cover. Uh, no run. Uh, do you bowl as well? Yeah, mate, I'll have a trundle at some point. Uh, what are you Hope bowling? Left arm, right, left arm? Just, just right arm, Ghibli Dobblers. <laughs> Hopefully I can get Tommy, Tommy Adams out cheaply. Oh, cool, got, yeah, got yeah. Times, Tommy's so had a uh, pretty one, successful so. year as well. In comes Dave Lawrence. Beautiful in-swinging ball. And Rich Harry's had his field set perfectly there with uh, Mick Harry set at uh, short mid-wicket. What I'd like to see from Freo now is him to bring on the, uh, the slow spinner, the guy, what's his name? The guy loops him up. Oh, uh, Sammy Field. Yeah, bring him on. Yeah, bring him yeah. On. have a bit of a bash, put out, uh, put out the cover. Here comes Dave Lawrence, a little bit shorter and down the leg side. Was it? Just, Maybe it wasn't. It in. Maybe that was between the stumps and... Dave Lawrence in, lovely ball, lovely back of a length there, straight back to the bowler. He should be looking, I he should be looking to pull that, hey? With the uh, sow <laughs> prevailing. Pull it across. Yep. He's not bowling that quickly. There's no cover, there's no one out here on the deep mid wicket boundary. Popping up for him nicely. We need a few runs from here as well. Otherwise yeah. Otherwise he's going to get strangled out of the game. What do you reckon a total here is, mate? I'm hoping close to 200 when we started to come out. Started our innings, so I think from here, we'll take 150. Yeah. I 
Anything over 140 in a final, mate? Yeah. yeah. Well, you can defend anything. Um, Fremantle and Mosland Park have fielded well today. Have they? I don't think they've dropped the catch, have they? Oh, there was a tough yeah, one. Yeah, I smashed one straight to the guy, Gully. Did you? Uh, a bit of, yeah, a bit of catch and practice. <laughs> down. We'll work out who that was later and report back. That's the guy at first slip. Right? Oh. oh no, that's the guy short fun league. Down next side. No wide yeah, given. Yeah, been good today, actually. And that is the end of the over. So end of the over. Uh, that was another maiden, five for fifty nine. Yeah. So how do you how do you fit in with the Frio Mosaic? Uh, I'm um, I'm one of the top graders, mate. Um, which we had a we had a um, a pretty average season, and so um, uh, we didn't make finals. Unfortunately, unfortunately um, uh, we got relegated last week. Um, Ouch. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. I've been up for a couple of years, but um, hopefully we can come back next year and, um, and uh, make it back into first grade. Good as gold. Um, which uh, our, our second 11, which is obviously in third grade this year, finished top of the table. In, in comes McCarries. Ooh, oh, swing and a miss. Um, our second level, which finished uh, top of the table, dropped down to fourth grade because we dropped down. So they should have a pretty strong, um, a pretty strong. Uh that doesn't mean anything for your fourth eleven, though. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the Freo Mozzie Park Bowl is a bowling stump to stump here, aren't they? Yeah, nothing too loose. Yeah. We really have to earn the runs, the Western Suburbs. What's your bowling attack like, mate? Yeah, we're not too bad. Not too bad. We sort of lack a real wicket taker, but we can sort of like control our line. We've got decent control. Oh, Bring on the field. That look. Got a few early wickets will be on. That looked like a sensational delivery. That one. Mick Harris has got his hands on his hips. It looked like it swung in and nipped away. Let's have Corner. A few action here. Oh, now that's a wide. I need to. In comes McCarries. Beautiful delivery and beautiful shot. Held the pose there, and, and rightfully so. In comes McCarries. Beautiful delivery and beautiful. Well, that one not so much not a lovely off drive. No, no, no. <laughs> He's getting himself in. And that's the end of the over. That's over, right? that one off, one I think. think yeah. Yes, I think that's... One run off the um, off three overs, and we're having a change of bowling here with Tim Richards to come on to bowl. Let's have a look and see how Tim Richards' um, season's going, mate. Let's go eighty-two. Um, not uh, not not a bad season there from Timmy Richards. He's played twelve matches, averaging eight with the bat, <laughs> and he's taken three wickets at an average of thirty-seven. His best bowling was two for eleven. Very tidy, yep. tidy figures. Tidy figures bowling. there. Yep. Let's uh, do reckon he's got that in him today. So I will say, can you see who it was against? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Um, I 
Two hits. It's against Swanbourne. Is that right? Yeah, Tim Richards. Um, oh, and short nice down shot. the leg side. Nice shot by Dent. Quickly onto the back foot. He'll pick up to, oh. Oh. Yeah, good decision not to go for two. Beautiful. Oh, and short oh, down shot. the leg side. Nice shot by Dent. Quickly onto the. In comes Tim. Oh, down the leg side. And that's another wide. He's struggling to, um, struggling to the left hander here. Timmy Rich is coming through the umpire. Around the wicket, right arm round. That's a full toss on the legs, and he has put it out to the backward square boundary. There is cover out there. Leon Ewing throws it in. And a great, a great run for two. The umpire. Around the wicket, right arm round. That's a full toss on. In comes Tim Richards. Down leg side again. And they run through for an easy one. Oh, wide. Timmy making it very difficult there for the keeper, Tom Robinson. Tom Robinson. Michael Robinson. Sorry. Tom Robinson is another player at the cricket club. Oh, uh, runs. Beautiful delivery. Lovely run. shot. Just a thickish outside edge. No one in a gully, and just for the one. Not the fastest outfield today, would you say? Well, uh, I, don't, I don't think we've really seen it, eh? No one's really been creaming the ball along yeah. the field yet, so now it looks like it'd be re reasonably quick. <laughs> a few of the deflections the early went for. Another full toss. Another single. Another single. So the run started to flow there a little bit. <laughs> what was that, five off, five off the over? Is there going to be another bowling change here? Oh, uh, here and on comes the sensational Benny Bot. Your relative, are you? Yeah, he's, my he's my brother. Yeah. Who's, the, who's the better bot? He's the be he is the better bot. That's actually his nickname in the club. <laughs> it's better bot. On comes the better bot, number six. Very, very tricky uh, bowler to face here. Um, more of a batsman than a bowler, in well, my humble opinion. Last week, he took four for four. Off four yeah, overs. Against Swanbourne, though. <laughs> against Swanbourne. Okay. So he's, it's taken him a few years to find, uh, find his mojo, but he's now worked out that with his hooping in-swing and the two-piece ball and the south westerly, that he now bowls right arm around, pitches on line and straightens, and he's been taking a few LBWs and a couple of bowls. So. Lean season with the bat for him, by his standards. Yeah, well, uh, well <laughs> should we have a look here? I better talk him up. Um, you tell me, yeah, yeah. Is he, has he had uh, a lean season with the bat? He's averaging 22, which isn't terrible, but I think he's... 200 runs with the bat, averaging he's 20. He's better than that. Yeah, think. yeah, he's, he's had some prolific seasons in the past. I think he hasn't played all the matches. Oh, shit, he's played 12. Um, <laughs> Uh, the, you guys do play 17 matches, so he's played 60% uh, of the matches. Here he is directing the field. He's calling for his um, backward square to come a little bit finer. Benny to the left-hander. Love a little start there. Just the one slip, even though he's bowling hooping out, swing to the lefty. Benny's taken eight wickets this year at an average of 13. As we mentioned before, best figures are four for four. So he's in form. In he comes. Ooh. And he obviously knows he's bowling because he adjusted his, uh, his short fine leg to the perfect position to save the one there. Oh, we might have a, um, a, another guest, guest commentator here. No, 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 no. Can you stay? Ooh, lovely bit of bowling there. Um, Cookie, you want to do some commentating? Come and do it a little bit. Move over to the
Benny Bott moving in. Punch down to the offside. No run. the 23rd over. Wide ball. Wide ball. Tim Richards. Tim, Tim Richards, that's right. Wide ball. Well, Timmy hasn't done much much bowling this year, but uh, when he does, he's uh, a bit tight. No run. That one. Good toss down the left side. Down the left side again. Wide ball wide again. Uh, third grade, one for thirty four. Falcon are on five, David Barrett on 14. End of, end of the over here at OD2.
by Leon. Ben Bott, just bowling out swingers to the left-handers. Toddy Kruger in short. Coming off some form from last week, bowling four for four. Here we go. Oh, what a catch. Thought he's just snuck out. He's right, Mitt. Never in doubt. Catch. Thought he's just snuck out. Six for eighty one now. Here we go. Oh, what a catch. Beautiful catch by Ben Bott. Western Suburbs in a spotted bother, 6 for 81. The 27th over, 28th over. Neil. Body to the new batsman now, another left hander. Over, great, great breakthrough by Body. Is uh, Jay Z on the uh, on the comments? Sammy Field bowling his leggies, trying to get the the flight. Six. Oh, hey, bro. 
Sammy's trying to uh, get a lot of, lot of loop to take the batsman's head up and then re having to refocus down again. So he's going to throw them up. And if they pitch, they get a lot of bounce. Very difficult for the batsman. Yeah, well, well. Keeping it nice and tight. Build the pressure through dot balls. It's been good from Pirates. Fielded by Toddy Kruger. Short cover. That's the one. Oh, just, just past Ben Bott, mid off. So much needed boundary for Western Suburbs. Yeah, Sammy shouldn't. Oh, that's a bit, bit stiff by the ump. I think that was uh, a very hittable ball, but uh, yes, that's better, Sammy. Four more. Oh no, well fielded by Leon out in the boundary there. Throw in and just one run. Is that the 29th bold? Ben Bott coming on again. Be on a high after his caught and bowled from the last over. Pirates really want to finish this up now. Try and get them out for under 100, 110. Quick outfield out there. Would be pretty confident of chasing those runs. Spot again by Ben. Beautiful day for cricket. Slight breeze, keeping the players nice and cool. Well, that's it for me. I've got to get ready to get back on the ground. Thanks, Dave Lee. Good luck. Thanks, Dave.
Timmy Richards has come off and replaced by Jay-Z, who was the commentator there. Sammy Field to continue from the right end.
And a change of bowling from the road end. Sam Field is having a spell and the captain, Rich Harries, is coming on to bowl. Sammy Field after four overs, number 23. Rich Harry's first spell consisted of five overs, one for 12. 6 overs to go here. And a great little fight back from um, Western Suburbs who were uh, six, they were for five, five for 59, then six for 81. And so they've put, this partnership's put on 23. In, come Rich, in comes Rich Harris to the left-hander. Oh, lovely ball outside off there with a swing and a miss. So Willem here is currently 16 off 27. Rich Harris coming in, <laughs> bowling over the wicket. Oh, lovely ball. Pitching just outside off and swinging in. Well, a little bit short on the hip. Whipped away for definitely two, He's pulled up just inside the boundary and beautiful throw in there from Dave Lawrence and it keeps him to two. Just straying down the leg side there from Richie. Rich Harry's having bowled three, three to come in the over here. Lovely shot outside off, and that's beaten the cover fielder. They've turned for two. Lovely slide there from Leon. Throw in. And it keeps it to two, but that was a lovely shot. The cover fielder. They've turned for two. Lovely slide there from Leon. Throw in. Beautiful delivery there from Rich Harris, just outside off. Lovely forward defence. And one ball to come in the over. Beautiful shot into the covers. That was four off the over. With five overs to go. Western Suburbs are six for 108. And it looks like there's another change of bowling coming here. Looks to be Jack Holiday's coming back on. I think he's taken a good catch today. And his figures thus far... Uh, his first five overs went for ten runs, one maiden, and took one wicket. Fantastic little partnership here uh, from Jones and um, Ufflin. Ufflin's uh, 20 off 32 and Jones 36 off 95. It's been the real mainstay of the innings here. Jack just directing his field here. We've got a short cover. Protection out onto the deep square boundary. They've caught. Oh. Keeper must have heard something, but that is a wide. Jack just directing his field here. 
We've got a short cover. Hello, how are you? Bloody well. Awesome, man. Do the peeps in? That's the end of the over. Four overs to go. Western Suburbs are six for 113. Again, another sensational uh, partnership going on here. Um, between uh, Willem and Jonesy. I believe they've put on about 33, 32 perhaps. Um, here's Rich Harry's just directing his field. Rich Harry's has bowled six overs, one for 16. Western Suburbs have put themselves into a good little, um, good little situation here. They've got wickets in hand and uh, had the ability to um, perhaps have a hit out. Richie's pushed Benny Bott back onto the long off boundary. Um, and that is the only man out at this stage. Um, very interesting field here. They've got like a short, wide mid-off a cover on the ring and then a point. A deepish gully, first slip, um, a straight mid wicket. Oh no, they do have a long on here. There is a, there is a fielder at long on. In comes Rich Harry's. Beautiful shot. Wicket to wicket bowling and dot ball. Anything over 130 in a final folks is very defendable. In comes Rich Harry's. Beautiful bit of fielding there. From Sammy Field. Prevented the one. So sorry, sorry, prevented the two, sorry. Rich Harry's bowling in swingers to the lefty. Beautiful shot. Oh.
who carries the Jones. Great catch from Holiday there. Beautiful catch from Holiday there. Richie picks up his second wicket. And that is a great innings that's come to an end there. I believe that's Jones out for 39. A great innings from the number four bat, holding the innings together. Off 90, 99. Fantastic innings there. And the crowd is showing their appreciation. Winchester's a new batter. Uh, he's scored 100 runs for the season at an average of 13. Um, I think his bowling is his strength. Uh, he's taken 16 wickets at an average of 16. In comes Rich Harries. Two balls to go in his seventh over. Beautiful delivery outswing to the right hander and just fielded by the short cover. Great spell here from Richie. This is his second spell. And that is the end of the 37th over. A successful one for Rich Harries. He has the figures of two for 17 off his seven. Looks to be Jack Holiday continuing from the river end. Some overthrows here. Very handy runs here. Jack Holiday in. Hit over the infield to the Deep cover boundary and just the two runs. Sending Timmy Bridgets out to the uh, cow corner. Holiday right arm around, spinning the ball back into 
the right hander. Nice and tight. Full right in the block hole. Big swing. Great bit of fielding there. They're turning back for the three. And that was three runs. That was the quick, quicker one there from Jack, and that's the end of the over. And with two overs to go, Western Suburbs have made their way through to 122. Willems on 27 off 40 deliveries, and Winchester is three off four. Rich Harris to continue from the road end. Just directing his field. He's pushing his uh, square leg a little bit behind square there. Shifting his mid-wicket a little bit wider as well. Long on, long off. Two overs to go. Big swing. Ooh, good effort there. They're coming back for two. Good effort there from Mick Harry's in slips. <laughs> Tough catch. Not sure if you got a hand to it or not. Great bowling there from Richie with Western Suburbs trying to push the, the run rate up. Long on, long off. Uh, regulation move wicket and a short little cover here. In comes Rich Harries. Oh, that was almost a carbon copy of the one before. Again, Mick Harries not able to help his brother out there. Nine balls to go. Western Suburbs will be looking to push their way through to 140. Just adjusting the field here a little bit. Oh, no, it's, we've got the left-hander on strike. So there's a, a deep square leg here. Long on, long off. Straight to the short mid-wicket. We can see Willem here eyeing off the deep mid-wicket boundary with the breeze and the swing going that way. Covers just pushed a little bit deeper at the end of the uh, innings here and enabled the Western Suburb batters to run through for one. Richie's now pushed more of a fly slip here. Yeah. 
Ooh. Close diving effort there from Jay-Z at the short cover. <laughs> and at the end of the over, Western Suburbs are 127 for seven with six deliveries to go. And Holiday to bowl out his final eight. And that's a um, that's a great set of uh, eight, eight overs there from Rich Harris. He's bowled his eight, two for 22. And we got to, just for the last over, we're going to have Jack Lafroy stepping in here for commentary. Special comments. Special comments. What do you think they can do to um, uh, get some runs here, mate? What do you reckon is a good total here? Holiday bowling. It's, uh, it's like cow, cow corner, long on, long off. No one out on the offside. Yeah, field is spread, isn't it? They have spread the field. Deep mid wicket and cow. And cow, yeah. Almost holding each other's hand out there. And he goes in that direction, but misses. I believe that might have hit him on the helmet there. In come the umpires. Deep mid wicket and cow. And cow, yeah. Almost holding each other's hand out there. And he goes in that direction. Umpire just checking out the lid by the looks of it. And everything seems to be, he's been given the all clear. Um, Western Suburbs, he's, the physio is busy right now working on um, uh, Jonesy's, Jonesy's hammies after his beginnings of 100 balls. So five balls left in the innings. Seven for 127. I'm going to put in a prediction here, Jack. I'm going to say it's going to go over the short mid wicket here and land safely between these guys out of cow. Oh, he, he targeted that area. Nice bit of keeping there from Robbo. I think Rich Harris might know something about this batsman with his field set. Had the same shot twice. Will he go three in a row? Certainly does. It's a single to square leg. Three to come. Three to come. Can Freo Mozzie restrict them to less than one thirty? So left hander here. Cow corner out, long on, long off. Oh, straight back down the ground. Drop catch possibly. But well fielded. Cow corner out, long on, long off. And that one's hit down the ground. Long off for a single. So one ball to come, two from the final over. Field spreads. Holiday in. Waxed to the leg side. I'll come back for two. And just get there for two runs on the last ball. Seven for 131 from 40 overs, and that brings the innings to a close. And what do you make of the target here, Jack? It'll be 132 for victory. I think that could be competitive runs on the board in the final. Yeah, I agree, mate. I agree. I reckon... Um, uh, if uh, Western Suburbs can take some early wickets, the opener in um, 
Um, and Tommy, Tommy Adams, he's been scoring some big runs. Um, if he's able to get away, the game could be very quickly taken away from them. But if they can manage to get him out, that'll be a big wicket. Then game on, eh? Yeah, Adams could be the key here in this chase, I think. Could be a tricky chase, or it could be over within 10 overs, we'll see. All right, well, we're going to take a, uh, a short break and go and have some tea. Um, come back in about 30 minutes. We may have some special guests halfway through here, but come back in about 30 minutes for the start of the West uh, uh, Freo Mozzie Park's batting innings.
Oh, built on, so not being picked. Yeah, yeah. Four for four. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Good. 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 Good.
So let's, let's try that one again there, uh, Richie. <laughs> um, in the commentary here, we have uh, the captain of the um, Fremantle Muslim Park cricket team. Richie, tell us, what are your thoughts on um, your fielding innings and Western Suburbs setting you guys a target of 132? Yeah, thanks, Timmy. I was very proud of the boys. Excellent bowling performance. Excellent in the field overall. Uh, we put down a couple of chances uh, in the second half of the innings, but overall very pleased to be only chasing about 130-odd, so it gives us a, a, a good chance. And uh, and you were saying before that um, one of the turning points for you was the run-out uh, from Jack Holiday. Yeah, absolutely. Mike Selby is on at the moment. Very fa a fantastic season overall by Mike. Uh, brilliant all-round cricketer. Selby into Tommy Adams. Straight back down the ground yeah, and fielded. And, uh, yeah, it was a brilliant run-out. Um, uh, Jones, who uh, nudged one behind square, and Jackie Holiday came in and hit a direct hit to run out Mike Selby. So it was a massive moment for us just before the drinks rate. And it was a good recovery in the end from Western Suburbs, wasn't it? All right. Tom Adams has hit it straight to Cow Corner. That's a huge wicket for the Western Suburbs lads who know that Tom Adams is a very dangerous player. That is game on, Richie. Yeah, it is. That's a big setback for us. <coughs> Tommy can do a lot of damage in the first five to ten overs, and unfortunately he's, just, he's picked out the fielder there. Um, uh, that's how he plays. He, he, he sometimes hits it over the fence, sometimes he hits it over the trees, sometimes he hits it over the river. Um, but unfortunately, this one he's landed it deep long on. Yeah, that was. they obviously knew he was going to go out there because they had two men out there for that. And it has paid off. So unlucky there for Tommy, who has scored in the, in the realms of um, 400 runs for the season, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Um, Timmy's 400 plus. 420 that. runs at an average of 42. And I would say it's almost striking at 200. So a huge wicket. But um, uh, as out goes Tommy Adams, in comes another sensational bat um, in uh, Jack Holiday, who himself has scored 300 runs at an average of 30. Um, so um, uh, replaced by another very strong batsman. Yeah, Jack's been magnificent for us. He's actually picked up the fielding and bowling awards this year for us, but he's been solid as anything at number three. Um, comes from a very strong um, uh, background, com coming from South Australia, played... played uh, Great cricket with Travis Head of all people, so he, he certainly well, knows that's his incredible. way around the pre-ground, yeah. Yeah, wow. So here we go. Holiday to face his first ball. And a lovely straight back there, back to the bowler. This is a fantastic first over from Selby. And after one over, the Pirates are one for two. Um, and so... Starting off on this over, we're going to have Ben Bott on strike. Tell us about Ben's, Ben's season, mate. Yeah, Benny unfortunately had a hockey injury uh, in the winter and uh, started the season late. Probably only, only came good around Christmas time and, and has been sort of picking up fitness and form along the way. Has been very solid in recent weeks. Made, it, made a 50-odd not out against Western Suburbs about two or three rounds ago. Um, and, and yeah, if he, if he plays his game, he's, he's very good, Benny. Classy batsman to watch. And uh, hopefully he gets, gets a good start and goes on with it. Um, and so one of your strengths uh, <coughs> through the year um, has been your, your depth in batting lineup. Um, <coughs> you guys have been posting some big titles. Um, and, and again, we'll see that today, mate. You've, uh, who will be following uh, Ben and who will be coming in at number four? Yeah, it'll be big. Big Davy Lawrence has had a, a, a miraculous season. Really, he's averaging high fifties, scored over five hundred runs. He's he's picked up all the awards for the team and and for the club. And That's Benny, the Benny Benny Bot gets a short one down leg side, and for a first ball, that is an absolute gift to the hockey player, who has just cracked one uh, into the goals for four runs. Great way to start the innings there. Um, Benny will hit those all day, won't he? Yeah, absolutely. And, and Benny's the sort of player that he, if he starts well, he, he can make big scores. He's capable of making big 50s, bat a long time. He's super fit, as we know. Um, but he's got to get that start um, and not, not uh, give up his wicket easily early. So Willem into Ben Bott, and he leaves it outside the off stump. That's a much better line and length there from... 
from Willem. Um, or Uf Uflin, or I'm not sure how to pronounce his, his last name, so I'm going to call him Willem, because that's his, I think, uh, William, I think is his first name. Yeah, so we haven't actually played this bowler before. We played him in T20 cricket, but this is his first outing in the, in the one-day format. In comes William. Just strained in the leg side, <laughs> and Benny pushes it to... Uh, square leg for no run. Ben Bott on strike. That is a brilliant catch. He has taken an a absolute catch. screamer. That was one hand low to his right. Fantastic stat, a catch. And what a start for the Western Suburbs. Well, as always, if you hit in the air, it's always a chance that you're going to get out. And, um, and well, that's, that's a magic catch. That I'm not quite sure who's taking it in. I'm not sure if it's Winchester or... Uh but that is a huge wicket again for um, Western Suburbs. <coughs> and what a start. That's exactly what they needed to take on the top of the table team, Fremantle and Mosman Park. Um, and in comes the said man, Dave Lawrence, the, uh, what we believe to be the association uh, leading run scorer, possible champion player as well. Yeah, he's taken wickets, <coughs> he's, he's, he's taken catches, he's made a mountain of runs, and we desperately need him. We're in super trouble all of a sudden, and this is, this is what, the game, what cricket's like, isn't it? Yeah. You lose wickets, you're always, you're always in trouble. Finals does funny things, mate. So, and this is exactly what Western Suburbs wanted. They wanted to get David Lawrence in early, uh, two for six, and in the second over, two for six. Here we go, folks. This is going to be a fantastic game of cricket here. Western Suburbs fighting back after posting a low total of 130. Oh, and David Lawrence has been given out first ball for a golden duck. LBW. Well, folks, that has absolutely turned this game on its head. has been given out first ball for a golden duck LBW well folks that Jimmy I might need to leave you because I, yes, I, I might fine. To slightly change the batting order here Th in a minute thank you very much for, uh, for visiting us there mate I no, appreciate your efforts Tim but you wouldn't believe the setup he's got here doing this for his club it's absolutely outstanding thanks brother good luck mate Dave Lawrence walks from the field. We have Todd Kruger, who is also another sensational batsman. The um, there is nothing. The, the Fremantle was on park. Um, um, Fremantle was on park. Uh, have batting in spades. So <coughs> if they can keep their head here, they they won't worry too much about being three for. But that is a huge, huge start from Western Suburbs. Amazing. Um, Well, folks, we're all in a little bit of shock back here. Um, 
Uh, full disclosure, I'm a Fremantle Mawson Park fan, so I'm in a, in a bit of a state of shock here. At 3 4 6, huge start by Western Suburbs. <laughs> Selby in to Jack Holiday and Solid there, straight bat. <laughs> Lovely bit of bowling, a uh, bit of outswing bowling there from Selby. And filled it in the covers. A um, bit of a rebuild mission here for Holiday and Todd Kruger. Another outswinging ball outside off. <laughs> and Holiday just pushes it into the covers. Lovely straight line and length there from Selby. And uh, due respect from Jack Holiday as well. Nice shot, Jackie. That's the way. Beautiful shot there from Jack Holiday. Short, and he is very quickly onto the back foot, and he has pulled that through mid wicket uh, to the cow boundary. Lovely shot. Yeah, we need a big innings from Jackie. He's he's got the capability. Um, unfortunately, he's had a couple of um, low scores the last couple of innings. And that is the end of the third over. And uh, Fremantle and Wilmington Park are three for ten. Uh, Jack Holiday. Um, Jack Holiday is on. Let's have a little look here. Uh, four of six. And Todd Kruger is uh, still on zero. We've just had a message in from a fan. Uh, one of the stalwarts of um, the club. Uh, Ray Mundo, he's watching the stream and he has said that looked absolutely plum. plum. Uh, he says he's watching it uh, at the bar. Yeah, there's some mixed opinions on it, of course. Dave not very happy with it, but um, but yeah, I don't know. From from where I was sitting here, it looked pretty pretty close. Oof. It's a good leave there from Todd with William bowling from the river end. Short down the leg side and not called a wide. Yeah, well, they've come on with a different tactic to when they last played us, playing the spinner with the new ball. And Toddy's found a gap there and found four, luckily. Beautiful shot, mate. A loose ball, loose delivery, and absolutely punished there by Todd Kruger. You kind of get that down here in OD2, don't you? You might get five five solid deliveries, but there's always a bit of a loose one, isn't there? You're quite right. Unless your name is Rich Harris. <laughs> you're too kind. Um, yeah, no, you're quite right. Generally, the bowling's very tidy, but there's always one loose one, and if you're patient enough, you'll get it. That is down leg side, and the umpire is stepping out to not call it a wide. I'm not sure why that's not a wide. I mean, he called everything against us, but anyway. That is uh, rather strange there. Um. Another, another lovely leave outside off there from Todd. <coughs> Yeah, 
And at the end of the fourth over, um, Fremantle was on park uh, four, three, for, three for 14. <coughs> yeah, really, really um, damaging start for us. Um, usually we get away to a flyer with Benny and, to and uh, Tommy Adams at the top. Um, but, you know, all credit to Mike Selby and his team. They've, they've dug in and they're giving us a hard contest and we have to be very, very good to win it from here. So Selby to holiday. We've got a stacked off side field, very hard to pierce. Mike always bowls line and length. Um, he, he doesn't have uh, the pace of some bowlers, but um, he's always consistent. Selby into Jack Holiday and another forward defence looking very solid. Um, Outswing with this uh, prevailing sour westerly here. S it smells like the uh, the sheep ships have um, have left the dock, mate. Yes, that beautiful sweet smell of Fremantle. Very watchful Jack Holiday here. That's a lovely delivery from Selby. And Jack Holiday showing it the respect. That they've got a, uh, a packed covers here with a whitish uh, mid off, a regulation cover, and a cover point, and then a forward point. Very watchful again there from uh, Jack. Another fantastic over there from uh, Selby. He takes his hat and makes his way out to. Uh, to point for the next over, which looks like it'll be the continuation of Willem, the spinner. Yeah, I'd imagine they're not going to let up here. They're going to bowl their best bowlers uh, in the first 30. Um, Mason Dent will come on a bit later. Um, and Winchester as well, who's a very similar bowler to Mike. Selby just lobs it up there in the right spot regularly. So you've got to take a risk to, to get over the top. So the left-handed Todd Kruger. Um, facing up to Will William. How's Toddy's season been, mate? And another Great full shot, top. Toddy. And smashed out to the mid-wicket boundary, and it breaks the line, and that is four runs. Yeah, Toddy's season's gotten better as he's as uh, as it's worn on. Um, he started uh, well. He'll be disappointed with his start to the season. Really struggled to get off strike and and get a score. But in recent weeks, he's put together a couple of beautiful innings, one against Curtin Big Park where he made 60-odd, and then against, um, against Swanbourne only last week, he made a 40-odd out, which was classy. Classy Toddy at his best. And so they've made their fielding adjustment, <laughs> and they've put cover out there on the, uh, on the deep mid-wicket boundary. William into Todd Kruger again. Another short ball and again he has made full value from the short wide one down leg side. That is uh, three fours now for Todd Kruger all on the leg side. Two from full tosses and one from a short one. Yeah, he's a beautiful timer of the ball Toddy. Um, he's, if he gets his cover drive going you know he's in really good form. So far he's had some loose stuff on the legs which he's put away every time. And that's a much better delivery there from William. And a lovely delivery there from William. <laughs> Just outside off stump. 
and respect shown by Kruger. Yeah, it's a great start from Western Suburbs. You've got to respect them. Um, we were certainly heavy favourites coming in today, but they are putting up a serious fight. Another great delivery to end the sixth over with Freeman and Mosman Park, uh, three for 22. Uh, Jack Holliday is four off 13, and Todd Kruger is 12 off 10. Timmy Bott's just going to step out to handle some technical stuff, but um, I'm joined here and no, no, he's refusing. He's refusing to join me in the box. Oh, it's a nice shot by Jack. He gets a single down the ground. Yeah, Davey Lawrence is a bit upset, obviously, and, and not keen to talk about the match at this point. Let's get him a win so he can he can uh, show his true form in the final. Mike Selby coming around the wicket now to Todd Kruger. Down leg side, no call. We're not getting uh, any wides here at the moment for some reason. Not quite sure. Oh, there might have been a bit of pad. There's some talk. Just looking at the field now, I think it might have been Harpal Singh who took that magnificent catch earlier to dismiss, dismiss Benny Bott. A brilliant screamer with one wide of mid on, one hander, just above the grass. I think we've just cut to the magnificent drone coverage that Timmy Bott's organised. I'll just come back to the action. Yeah, there it is. Be the beautiful Gil Fraser Reserve on John Street, North Fremantle. Picturesque site, beautiful cricket ground to play at. Fast outfield, lovely setting, great local supporters. And the magnificent Timmy Bott uh, with his technical know-how giving us these beautiful images. Yeah, so Western Suburbs making a change here now. There we go. Look at that. The beautiful North Fremantle out towards the, the harbour. Magnificent. The lucky country. Yeah, Mason, Mason Dent, left, hand, left arm, medium pacer. Um, swings it a lot. Can be very awkward. And it's Jackie Holiday on strike. And a nice tight line there already from Mason. Yeah, just cutting up to the drone again. Oh, magnificent Timbo. What a, what a view. What, that's absolutely outstanding.
Dent to Holiday. And again, nice line and Jack defending into the offside. Flick that one down to fine leg for a single. Beautiful shot. A perfect day for cricket. Southwester has just come in and bringing a bit of relief to the players. Wide down leg side, one of the rare wides called so far. Oh, it's a good line and far left. Far left. So I'm joined by Chris Onga King from the Tight Ass Tennis Club. Fantastic supporter of the Pirates. <laughs> Pleasure to be down here, Rich. Beautiful day for it. <laughs> Onga, what are your thoughts on today so far, what you've seen? Disappointing loss of a couple of early wickets, but got faith in the middle and lower order. So still expecting the Pirates to come back. Beautiful day down here in North Fremantle. Got to covers, safely fielded. Some beautiful drone footage coming in. So we're three for 25. I think that's the completion of the eighth over. Um, unfortunately, the uh, top order of the Fremantle Mozzie Park Pirates um, hasn't hasn't performed at its best today. We've had a fantastic season, season, but at the moment we're in a bit of strife. Tommy Adams going for a duck caught on the long on boundary for, uh, off just five balls. Benny Bott caught by um, I'm pretty sure Harpal Singh a magnificent. Absolutely brilliant catch at wide Three mid on one handed. Yeah. And Davy Lawrence with an LBW uh, first ball. Um, and uh, yeah, no one's ever happy with that. What do you think the key is here, Rich? Look like all cricket on it, I think it's partnerships, and, and Jackie and Toddy are two classy batsmen. Um, you can see Jackie's playing very patiently. Solid in defence. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's a good pedigree. Um, and so we're going to have to take this game uh, pretty deep, I think. We've got the power later on to score quickly if we need to, but if you lose wickets, you're always, you're always in trouble. Hit well, but to a fielder. Good running, good running. And I'll, I'll um, just run through the bowling figures up till now as well. Um, Mike Selby's into his fifth over. He's currently got one for seven. And William Van Uffelen, uh, three overs, two for 16. Um, so it's been an excellent start. And, and uh, the Pirates are at one stage, three for six. So there's a small recovery here, but a long way to go. dug out patient batting here waiting for the opportunity knows he's got a long way to go
So I'm going to tell us more about your cricket experiences. Well, interesting story, Rich. Takes me back to year six, the old primary school. Trying out for the A side. Didn't quite make the grade. Got the worst position, 12th man, A side rather than an opening batter for the B grade. Uh, the only time I had a bat, swung and a miss on the first ball. Smashed the second ball through covers for a four. LBW third ball for a glorious four runs. And that was my only batting opportunity. Wow, that's a short-lived <laughs> career. And I've never played since. Look, for those who don't know, uh, Chris Onga King uh, is an exceptional golfer and tennis player. And, um, yeah, we, we hopefully could recruit him to play a bit of cricket with the way he hits a ball in, in other sports. Whipped away, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot through the leg side. That's the way. Tell the fielder to grab a can of Coke while he's down there. How about you, Rich? When did you start playing? Yeah, I remember playing at Aquinas in primary school, of course, and uh, wasn't a wasn't a bad bowler back then. Um, didn't play cricket after about year nine, I think. I gave it up for a few years, but then returned to cricket in the in the mid nineties, actually, for the famous St Norbert's Ex Students Association. Okay. And was very lucky enough to play in three premierships there, before having a a twenty year hiatus, of course, when you have children and things like that and yep. um, luckily in the last three years I've, I've joined the Pirates in a magnificent club and a magnificent group of people and we've had a lot of success so far but um, but the only moment that counts I guess is now. Oh swing and a miss outside off. And that's the danger of Mason he's a good young fella and uh, he brings the ball in but every now and then you'll see one sink. Oh, swing and a miss. He's in the right spirit, and he's and you got to respect him as a bowler. <laughs> Our apologies to those who uh, might have lost some picture at the moment. We'll try and paint the picture in words. <laughs> it, might, it might just be the uh, the drone footage, actually. Oh, oh, he got a good glove on it from the wiki. And yeah, leg by to Jackie there. For those of you watching, it is a bit of a right to left breeze. To make the ball move a bit. Yeah, certainly pushing up into this breeze helps the away swing to the right handers. And then, of course, for Mason at the top end of the river end, coming down with the, the breeze going over his left shoulder and swinging the ball in, very helpful for him. Great drone work there. Mike Selby Ooh, continues gap, this excellent no. spell. Well fielded. Finding it tough to penetrate the field at the minute. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the Pirates moved to 3 for 32, now 100 needed with about uh, 20 overs to go. Uh, sorry, 30 overs to go. This is the start so of the 11th so over. 3.3 runs and over. Easily get a ball. Still got the Harry's brothers to come in. Big wraps on them. You won't be seeing me for a little while yet, uh, hopefully. Good running certainly, there. Certainly Mickey Juice is due in next at number six, and, um, you know, he's one of our star cricketers overall. How's the mistress been going? <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat that? Sorry, I, I missed that. For those of you who don't know, how's the mistress going? Do you want to explain who the mistress is? I, I hope he's referring to my wife. <laughs> 
I was under the impression that's what the new Grey Nichols cricket bat is called. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Bounces just inside the rope. He's pulled out well over mid wicket. Over beautiful four. four. Well struck. Uh, yeah, my apologies. Yes, the bat. Yeah, he does love it. <laughs> yeah, Mick's got a beautiful grey nickels. Uh, very, very sweet middle. He's made uh, a couple of very decent uh, scores this year, uh, but hasn't had much opportunity with with. Tommy Adams and Davey Lawrence at the top of the order scoring a lot of runs. Um, a, a lot of our middle order haven't had many opportunities. Well struck again. Must surely be Selby's last over, is it? Fourth over that he's bowled? Uh, th this will be his, his actually his sixth first Selby, so he's going through to, to probably, well, I'm not sure if he'll have a rest or continue to finish off his eight. Oh, another great shot, but good field placement. Yeah, fantastic bowling and a beautiful shot, but unfortunately no reward there. So 11 gone. The Pirates three for 37. Jackie Holiday, 16 not out. Toddy Kruger, 13 not out. Um, and and uh, the Pirates certainly need this partnership to continue. Gonna be a tough ask. Oh, it's an appeal that looked outside off. I, I feel like he's on the edge that or he's got outside the line. Shorter, it, oh, well fielded, but safely back in. There's been some very nice shots played at the moment, but uh, a lot of good field placements and uh, and very solid fielding from. Seems to be hitting the ball a bit more freely yeah. now, getting into a groove, getting settled. Again, nicely struck, but we have a stalemate here. Yeah, it's tight cricket. It's good. It's finals cricket. cricket. The flow of wickets. Toddy and Jackie, we've just got to wait for the right ball. Just be patient. Keep it on the ground. Oh, goes for the pull. Didn't look like it bounced as much as he thought. Yeah, there's been a bit of inconsistent bounce. Mm. Toddy and Jackie have just got to wait for the right ball. Just be patient, keep it on the ground. Ooh. Wide and high of off stump there. Oh, he's edged it. He's nicked that Taken. one. I he's, think he's gone. gone. It's a brilliant bit of bowling by Mason Dent. It was a good bit of bowling. And a great catch too by Jared Clifford, the Western Suburbs keeper. And... Uh, oh, he's edged it. He's nicked that Taken. one. I he's think he's gone. gone. It's a brilliant bit of bowling. But... Oh, he's edged it. Calling Leon Ewing, who's our 12th man, and uh, he's, uh, he can uh, help out Chris King here with the box. 
some stats. Beautiful. It's a beautiful day for cricket. Oh, it's a day for it. Absolute cracker. Who'd want to be anywhere else? Coming to the crease, we've got Mick Harry's, also known as Juice. Yes, I think so. Dave Lawrence there with some encouragement. Here we go. Comes Mick Harris. Full toss. Easily dealt with. End of the over. I can't read that. Give me glasses on. Four for 37 now. Change of the bowling. H. Singh coming on from the grandstand end. The full toss. This new ball is just warming up. Good, and good to see the next generation of kids in the outfield practicing their batting just off screen. goes on the front foot he's driven is it going to make the boundary yes it does beautiful drive there looked easy outfield's reasonably quick that's what the pirates needed Pitch delivery. Wide, yes, wide called. Wide, yes, wide called. Oh, on the leg side, whipped away. Score now, four for 42. Uh, trailing by 89 runs.
Okay, here comes this young left-hander. Full toss. Didn't get a chance to put it away. a wide down the leg side. What are your thoughts, Leon? How do you, how do you think the boys are going to go about this? Just steady as she goes. It's always a funny game. Finals cricket. But with this batting lineup, batting all the way down. Goes deep. Solid. Oh, another ball down the leg side. Not called a wide, but they take a cheeky single. Good running. Well left. Nick hasn't faced too many balls yet, just trying to get a feel for what the ball's doing. Just pushed, well run. That's what they need to do, just take the singles when they've got the chance. Four for 45, trailing by 86. And take off the pads. And that's the end of the over. Well, that's my longest stint ever in the commentary box. First time ever. I might have to leave you, Leon, and uh, go and support the club by purchasing a beverage. I'll uh, hand over to you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. It's, it's been a pleasure. Partnership really steadying the ship here. Stemming the bleeding. Riding the ship.
Potato Holiday just can't stand that side. Sink to Holiday, wide down the left side. St. Holloway played to the left side. Well run for the single, bringing up the 50 for the Pirates in the, the end of the 15th over. Jack Halliday is on 24, Holiday is on 24. Nick Harris is on two. New bowler Sharma from the river end. Harry's back on strike. Good cut wide. Wide outside off for a single. Jack is hold out on Yeah, huge wicket there. Um, Jackie Holiday falls for around about twenty six, I think. Um, playing a pull shot and lobbing it to Harpal Sing Harpal Sing at mid on again. And makes it five for fifty odds, still eighty to win, seventy nine to win. And, um, and plenty of work today.
Winchester. New bowler is Winchester coming in from the pavilion end. Jack Lafroy has walked over to the walked over the bridge and picked out some chips for us. Oh Jesus! I'm not sure whether that's a no ball or a wide. <laughs> Come here, both. I'm sure the Westwick panel will be reviewing this vision for the sus suspect bowling action. Um, and so as Jack Harper comes into the commentary box, oh, yeah, Jack Lafroy yeah. comes into the rug and a bit of a faux pas there, folks. <laughs> I'm distracted by the chips. Fremantle Walton Park find themselves in a little bit of a sticky situation. Plenty of batting to come, though. That has been belted down to the long on boundary and. The skipper of Fremantle Morrison Park is not happy about the aerial route that they are taking. <laughs> Here is Michael Robinson to face Stephen Winchester. Winchester. Back foot cut to cover for no run. Millie's dad's going to jump on to commentary here. Well, the Pirates are going international here. Coopsie, can I have... Yeah, two seconds, mate. Can I have... Yeah. Winchester off the long run. <laughs> Defense. And lovely bit of respect there shown by Mick Juice Harries, the naming right recipient of the Juice's Booty Award. In comes Winchester. Bowling lots of respect, lots of flight on length, and that is the end of the 17th over. And the Pirates are 5 for 56. What do you make of the game situation here, Lefus? <laughs> A few uh, wickets down. I think they'd <coughs> prefer to be only one or two down at this stage, but looks like a deep batting lineup. I think a um, little bit of patience here, get through to the drinks break and Build a partnership. Yeah. One thirty should be in their sights. Yeah, how's your maths, there, mate? <laughs> How many do they need to win? Uh, give me a couple minutes. Might need a couple minutes. <laughs> Jack Lefroy is reaching for his iPhone here. Lovely delivery outside off there, and the wicketkeeper for FMPCC on the back foot defending. 75 to win. 75 to win, 23 five overs. 23 overs, five wickets in hands. Lads, this is a cracking match. If you're anywhere in the vicinity of Gil Fraser, get down here. It's a beautiful afternoon. And a lot of respect there showing by Robbo. These two know they have a job to do. They need to take this one deep. It's not a big total, but with three very early wickets within the First three overs, Western Suburbs are right on top here. 
and then subsequently Jack Holiday put on a, a very patient 20 odd but he fell last over and that's a slash outside off and that is going to race down to the third man boundary for four that is a great shot was given width and height and he has belted that yeah, loose delivery, short and wide, and put away. And the and the Frio skipper was okay with that one going aerial. Cleared the infield comfortably. Yep. Beautiful shot. A few more of those needed, I think, for the Pirates. Beautiful little glance off the pads there. Single to Robinson. <laughs> nice drive by Harry's for a single to yeah. to middle. And six for 90 in the third grade game. Coming up to 46 overs. Dave Barrett still at the crease on 39 off 132 bowls. Another short and wide one there from, uh, who's this bowler? Sharma. Sharma. And that's the end of the over. Scores five for 62. 18 gone. I do believe that Western Suburbs <laughs> might have been the same score at the same time. Yes. So Western Suburbs lost their fifth wicket for 59 runs and then they put on a couple of partnerships which is exactly what is needed here. Great insight there from Tim Bott. <laughs> Mick Harries is 5 off 11. Uh, Robinson 6 off 8 and it is Mick Harries on strike here with beautiful straight drive straight there from Mick down to long on for one bang bang Winchester in again Robinson on strike here. Three men out in the deep on the leg side. Oh, yeah. Predicting some shots here, maybe. Just a little, a little cut shot out to a point, but there's two men there. What have we got here, Jack? We've got a, a, a deep backward square. We've got a cow corner. We've got a long on. Just a normal regulation forward square leg and then a mid wicket. Just a ring field on the offside. Oh, and he's Get absolutely shot. bashed that. And shot, Great and shot. He... Through mid wicket, over the top. A couple of bounces for four. Pierce the gap between those two men out there. Great cricket. Almost a slog sweep by Robinson. You've got that in your arsenal, haven't you, mate? Yeah, I think so. So what's Winchester got here for the comeback? A uh, big shout out to Nick Mayhew over in uh, North Norfolk in England, who is who is. Uh, Tuning in to watch the Pirates OD2s. Nikki, how are you, brother? Winchester into Robbo here. Ah, <laughs> we have another shout out here to Fazzy. Unfortunately, he was caught doing 170 in a 40 zone. Um, instant disqualification of license. So that's a bit of a bummer for him. And believe it or not, folks, it was done on an electric scooter. 
He'd spend some time at home hot wiring his scooter, and that's another cracking shot there from Robbo. He'd hot wired his scooter and was done uh, cruising through the school zone doing 170, no, 175, I believe it was, in, a, in, in the 40 zone. Lost his license. Fazzy, we miss you, mate. End of the over. It's 19 gone now, 5 for 68. A few singles there to go with the boundary. And the Pirates might be happy with this little partnership at the moment. In comes Sharma to Robbo, and a little push to the mid-wicket, and no run. Deep square leg comes up. Interesting field move. Well, they've, got a, they've got a fly slip here. Turn to square leg for a quick single. Direct hit. Well, that was a good piece of captaincy there because they bought up the deep square, didn't they? They went straight to him. But they've still got the one. might have been asleep out on the rope, forgetting where he was. Beautiful day here down at the Gill. Crowd everywhere, lads out on their towels, on their little camping chairs. We've got a grandstand which is just completely full. Dave Barrage has been dismissed in the third grade semi final for 42 of 140 balls. Sharma in. Defensively played to point. No Very right. watchful by McCarries there. <laughs> and these two might be setting themselves for to see the boys home from here, Tim. Dave Barrett walking off after scoring a very patient 42 off about 140 deliveries. Well batter, mate. Wide down the leg side. With that wide, that's 10 extras to the score. Another one on the leg stump there. Shaping in with the breeze, and Mick Harris just pushes it into the mid-wicket. Fielder. What have we got? Pirates 5 for 70. Rebuilding their innings. Two balls left before the drinks break here. Full toss, driven through the covers. Might come back for two. Decide against it, just a single. Ooh. Good decision not to go for the second? Yeah, I think so, yes. Both these boys are pushing mid-60s. So those twos are difficult to, to get. A drop ball to finish. That'll be the end of the over. 20 yawn. 5 for 71. And that's the drinks. 60 runs left to win here for the Pirates. Coming in the last 20 overs. With five wickets in hand. Well, this game is sitting on a knife's edge right now, isn't it, Jack? Right in the balance, I think. Right in the balance, First, yeah. The next five overs might be the key here. This is going to be a fascinating finish to this match. Uh, run rate should not be an issue. Great fight back after Western Suburbs have posted a modest uh, total of 131. Um, dismissing 
uh, both the openers for, for not many, and but more importantly, Tom Adams, who scored 400-plus uh, runs at a strike rate of 200, and then to get the uh, association leading run scorer out for a golden duck. Uh, that was one of the biggest shocks of the game, I would say. Yeah, very well bowled by the Western Suburbs boys, I think. Um, got themselves right back in this game. There's the umpires uh, paying tribute to the plank. Um, bit of a shout out here during the drinks break to our our sponsors in um, uh, Armando Sport, um, uh, the Fremantle Doctor, uh, who provide all of our alcohol for a very good, very good price. Love the Ferro Brewery Runt, delicious mid strength beer that one there. Uh, Peaches down in South Rio, who um, provide us the best pineapple in the world. Um, every week, there's incredible watermelon, rock melon, nectarines, plums, strawberries. peaches, strawberries. It's an incredible thing to keep us lads going and women going during their games. Um, Shore Pack, one of our major sponsors and have been for many, many years. Um, Stella Industries and, and Angel Water, who, um, big shout out to uh, the crew in Abu Dhabi. Um, yes, the Pirates go international. We love Angel Water. We do believe uh, that's uh, almost identical scores at drinks here. This is what you want in the final series. You want a tightly contested match, don't you, mate? That's finals cricket, isn't it? It's just close, close contests. Good contests between bat and ball. Nice and even and uh, comes down to the wire. Yeah, funny things happen in finals, don't they, mate? Very funny things, yeah. You've won yourself a couple of flags. Yeah. How many have you got? I got two back in the day. And um, have you been in any losing finals? I have. Back in 2015, I think, alongside you. Lost your first grade grand final at Charles Verriard. Um, back in the day, yeah, a while ago now. Won two grand finals in fourth grade under Craig Beard and... Played a semi-final again last year. Fortunately, no finals this year. But hopefully, back in there again next year. Yeah. And the players are about to take the field again after a quick little drink. Go and get myself a beer for, uh, sponsored by uh, Free Mental uh, Doctor. Drinks break for the players and for the commentators. It's almost ready to return here. And the Gil Fraser uh, synthetic wicket. And it looks like we have a new bowler.
Just taking some time to get the field set here. Deep square leg, cow corner, and a long on. And a shout out to Adam Reed watching along at home. Ah, uh, Reedy. Hopefully he's enjoying the coverage. Big fan of the Pirates, social member himself. If anyone's selling any cheap gear, Reedy's looking to, to buy some because he sold his gear a few years ago. <laughs> he wants to get back into it. Cheers, mate. That's the sound of a lovely beer from the Fremantle Doctor. Lovely little clip off the pads here from Mick Harris. And we're not too sure who this bowler is at this stage. And the scorers are trying to work that one out. Left arm off spin. And well defended by Robinson. Got, I got Mi Mick Harry's at 6 off 13 and, and the wicket keeper Michael Robinson 12 off 15. Good little partnership here at the moment. Needed, isn't it? Very much needed. So far the fall of wickets, 1 for 2. Lovely sweep Gosh. shot there from Robbo out to the square leg boundary, but very well positioned fielder and it will just be 1. And then they lost uh, Ben Bott for 2 for 6. D Lawrence, the very next ball. For three for six. And then uh, Todd and um, Todd Kruger and Holiday, Jack Holiday, put on uh, 30 runs before uh, Kruger got a lovely ball which nipped away, took the outside edge, and it was a great low catch by the keeper. That was four for 37. And then finally, um, Jack Holiday just missed time one out, to, uh, tried to play across. Um, across out to mid wicket, but just didn't tight quite time, and it went to mid on, and that was five for 53. So now it's five for 73. So these guys have put on 20 runs, very, very valuable 20 ones, wouldn't you say, Jack? Yeah, absolutely. Under the came in under pressure, the top team playing a home semi final, a few early wickets, and these two boys have steadied the ship at the moment. Change of bowler here from the river end, a left arm around, leg stump line. And no run. Keeper cleans up down leg side. Just a ring field set. No one in the deep. Opportunities for a few singles, possibly. Uh, no slip in for... I don't know who this bowler is. But a great line there. Yeah, no, no slip in. Uh, they've got a gully. Interestingly coming around the wicket to the right hand and batsman. Would you, would you have a slip-in at this stage, mate? Chasing wickets for victory or have you just for the containment ring field? I think they're going to have to take take all ten wickets to win the game. So yeah, I agree, I agree. I'd be looking Another one down the next side. side if I was a captain. I tell you what, these umpire... Hey, on. Um, ooh, getting rowdy down back here. And the umpires have, have been uh, quite lenient on the wires today down the side. Um, We're in amongst the uh, Freya Mozzie Park change rooms almost here. Um, here we go. Left arm around here. In swinging um, with the breeze. Shot. Very full and well driven through cover. I'm going to come back for a second. Yes. Uh, oh, no. Here we go. Almost could have run four there, I think, and they yeah. get back comfortably for two. A two for these lads is actually a four all run. That was a great shot from yeah. uh, Robert, there, wasn't it? It was nice and full, almost a half volley, and he's he's hit it well through cover. Nah, it's, that's pad. The, it, it's almost nigh on impossible for this guy to get an LBW. 
I tell you, his, his left arm around with a Sal Wesley coming over his left shoulder, bowling in swing. Uh, Robway would pretty much have to stand on his stump, so uh, that would be hit wicket. So this cannot be out, LBW, this guy. And he comes again. Left arm around. Full ball. Beautiful delivery. Oh, and defend. Now, I haven't seen a forward defence like that since Nick Mayhew in, uh, in 1993 uh, when he was in Surrey versus Barry St. Edmonds. And he must have played about 40 of those. On the front foot on a very tricky deck. High elbow. The most vertical, vertical bat you've ever seen. And, and I think he saved the game for them there, mate. Those sort of forward defensive shots. And I think... I think Mikey and, and Mikey, the two Michaels out here, are going to need to have a lot of straightforward defensive shots here, aren't they? And, and then sit on, the, sit on the, the short, wide ones and the full tosses and punish those deliveries when they get them. Yeah, I like a good forward defence. One of my favourite shots myself. And that's one of those short, wide ones we were talking about there, but straight to the fielder at mid-wicket and no run. I think I'll just keep waiting for that, that bad ball. And try and put that one away when it comes, I think. Full Ooh, toss there. there. Comfortable single down the ground. Just ticking the scoring rate along <laughs> at this stage. No real uh, aggressive shots just yet. Just, just ticking it along nicely. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? They're not taking too many risks. Um, don't need to at this stage. Possibly a one there behind square, but um, erring on the side of caution. I think it might be a drinks break in third grade. Eight for 101 off 51 overs. Driven. Ooh. Possibly a dropped court and bold opportunity. Do you reckon that was a drop catch, mate? Could have been just on the half volley, but would, would have been a screamer. Oh, yeah, would have been a very one. good catch. They've already taken a couple of good catches. Both sides have been good. Yeah. In the Beautiful shot. But he, unfortunately, he's, he's hit it straight to the backward point fielder. A foot either side, and that was four. Short one again, and that one's cut through the gap. And that will run away for four runs. And he doesn't make the mistake that time. He was given the exact same ball twice. First time he hit it to the fielder, and then Mick Harris, a classy batsman, made the adjustment and has cut that one to the cover boundary for four runs. A very handy four runs there, and that takes the Pirates into the 80s. Five for 81, and that is... Now, 51 needed for victory. Yep. This is getting very tense, folks. Partnership continues to grow. Western Suburbs be searching for a wicket here. Please stay patient, the Pirates. Plenty of time left in this one. Full and driven, straight to the cover fielder. Uh, very interesting field set here. They have the covers absolutely covered with a straight mid-off, a short cover, a regulation cover, and a cover point and a point. So anything outside off to get through there will need to be a very good shot. Michael Robinson on strike here. And that is a beautiful shot. And he chooses to go over the top of the, all those covers. Lovely shot for four. When you've got five people in the covers, what's the best way to go? Just go over the top. Just go over the top. <laughs> and there's no complaints here from the uh, pirate skipper who was lambasting his players before about taking the aerial route. But he has a big smile on his face. I, I'm going to say that is the shot of the game for me thus far, mate. Yeah, that was um, 
That was crisp. That was a beautiful delivery just outside off stump and uh, assessing the situation perfectly, Robbo has just creamed it over the covers for four. I think Robinson's liking this matchup at the moment. And that is now down leg side. And that is what a bit of a bit of attacking batting can do there. The bowler thinking that he uh, was safe outside off um, has tried to straighten it up a little bit and he's pushed it down leg. So a great bit of um, aggressive batting there from Michael Robinson. Yeah, pressure's on the bowler now. He's uh, gone for four and then a wide down the leg side. Let's see what he's see what he's got next. So he's changed to come over the wicket. Well bowled and a nice forward defence again from Robinson. Yeah, a much better delivery there. And I, I think this is the, uh, the correct uh, thing for him to do. The LBW was taken out, out of the equation with him coming around. But now, with that in-swing and the breeze shaping across his left shoulder, he can pitch and straighten it. So the LBW is now in to the equation. I think that was probably a little bit too full to cut. There's a hush over the crowd here. Everyone on the edge of their seats here at Gil Fraser. Cuts again. Probably not quite there for the cut shot. Don't want to be too critical from sitting up in the stands. Again, just the ring field here. Four on the leg side. It's a 4-5 field. No slip. Um, I do agree with you there, mate, that they are going to need to take the 10 wickets here to, to win the match. Michael Robinson on strike and a beautiful forward defence, but pushed straight to the mid-wicket fielder. That ends the over. 24 gone, it's five for 86. Now in the other semi-final between, uh, in this grade, between High Wickham and, uh, and Subimaris, Subimaris, Subimaris posted uh, 178 for five. And in reply, High Wickham are in a little spot of bother uh, and they are five for 66. So um, uh, High Wickham look like they, sorry, <laughs> sorry, um, Subimaris look like they have, might have the honours there, but there's still a long way to go. Um, A 33-run partnership here for between these two. The <laughs> biggest partnership of the innings. And so <laughs> a very good decision. <laughs> a very good decision here from Western Suburbs to bring back on their uh, strike bowler in Selby. Uh, Selby's first spell uh, yielded him one wicket uh, for the cost of 14 runs. Only two overs to come here, so they've possibly bringing out their, their strike bowler Tad early, hoping for a wicket though. Good captaincy. Yeah, would you give him both or just just, just the one le and leave him with one? It's a bit of a yeah line call, that one. It's, um, he can get a wicket, he can change the game. But if he uses up his two overs and the Pirates can see him out, then that could also be definitely advantage Pirates. Again, a <coughs> excuse me. Again, a tightly packed offside field here with, with a mid off, a. Oh wow! Like an extra cover, a short cover point, a cover point, and a point. So huge. Uh, lots of cover here on the on the on the cover side. Yeah, the pirates might be looking to just get through this two overs from Selby. I'd say. Yeah. Yep. I'd say even if this goes for a maiden, it'd be um, uh, a decent uh, a decent over for the Pirates. Uh, but obviously, Western Suburbs is looking to pick up uh, one of these um, valuable wickets. Beautiful delivery there, straightening up a little bit, and no run. <laughs> one of the one of the big disappointments uh, for the Fremantle Muslim Park. Uh, Pirates this year was the absence of uh, Chester Ringsell. Um, came back from came back from England and and 
Picked up a, a lovely rental down in Burragoon, but opted not to play any games for the Pirates this year. But we are expecting big things next year from Chester, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. I've heard I've heard a lot of talk from him, so um, I've been working away. There it is. That's the scoop. Any, any games next year? At least two or three, yeah. <laughs> there you hit it first, folks. <laughs> One of the uh, famous bang bros, actually, at the Pirates. Is he? You remember the 2020 game yeah. where he scored? Oh yes. A massive 2020. The the Bang Brothers. <laughs> Ten years ago. Still living in the past. Ooh, start of a new over here from. Yeah, uh, lovely, lovely delivery there from Dent. Looking to make a dent in the scorecard for the for the Pirates. Uh, in he comes. He's made the change to over the wicket here, which is a very good decision. Beautiful delivery. Yeah, this is getting tense here, folks. He's uh, he's uh, Robo was loving the width outside off there, and um, and so he's changed it up. And and Western Suburbs have pulled one of their fielders from the cover cover region onto the leg side. I feel like this is the uh, this partnership could be make or break here. This is the the game at the moment. And Robbo is playing it very nicely with his four defence. These boys might be looking to bat the majority of the forty overs. So currently we have <laughs> Mick Harris thirteen off twenty nine with one boundary with a four, and Robinson. Uh, 20 off 34 with, and he's had three boundaries, including an exquisite uh, cover drive over the top for four. Little flick off the pads there. in again here to Robinson. Cut away. Finds a little gap for uh, be a single. The score keeps ticking along here for the Pirates. ball off the pads, no run. And that's the end of the over. It's five for 87, 26 gone. What do you think of the number 87 body? Oh, yes, the Aussies don't like that one, do they, mate? <laughs> It'd be nice to get a little single here. To get them off the 87. And uh, bowling his last over now, Selby. So they are going to bowl him out. This is the 27th over of the game, so lots of overs to come. And he's played that beautifully through the leg side. What a shot. Pick that up off a nice length outside off and he's beautifully through the leg side. Look how I put for four runs. That was fantastic. He has timed that to perfection. If we had a hot spot, we'd be able to see a big white dot in the middle of his bat there. Yeah, he's absolutely crunched that one. Um, a rare loose delivery there from Selby. Selby in again to Robinson. Just the, just the forward defence that time. He's choosing his balls here very wisely, Robinson. 
And that was Robinson's fourth boundary of the innings. Just 41 to get now for the Pirates. This partnership's really been impressive. Uh, it's Big shot oh. and a swing and a miss. That was a wild swipe of the line. Really been impressive. Uh, it's oh. Big shot. Back to so live. Again in a four defense. So two balls to come in Selby's spell here. It's, he's been extremely economical. That, that boundary was a, a, a rare four for Selby here. He's had one for 18. In he comes. I'm I sure think that uh, Robinson knows. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think he's reading the script here, is he? <laughs> if only he could tune into our, uh, our commentary. <laughs> His eyes have been lighting up this over after his boundary. Selby's final delivery in his allotted eight. Bowls it short, and that's just cut straight to the four point, and that's a fantastic eight overs from Selby. Finds himself with figures of uh, one for 18 off, uh, of eight overs. Yeah, two, two maidens in that as well, so well bowled. <coughs> that is a... That is a great spell from the captain there. It's interesting. Looks like Dent will bowl his final over as well. Yeah, he's got some good figures. They're two best bowlers on the day. He'll be bowled out after this over. So Western Suburbs are going to need to find some overs from one of their bowlers, either Winchester Sharma. Singh or Ufflin, Ufflin. Beautiful in swinging delivery here from Dent. Uh, it looks like a completely different bowler um, over the wicket here. <coughs> Luke Roberts has just played it. Marvellous sweep shot over on the turf deck. <laughs> no, nothing happened there, it's okay. Sorry, folks, uh, wrong camera there, but that was a vicious delivery from Dent. And Mick Harry's back on the front foot. They run for a single here and gets through easily. Robbo drops his bat. Good single. Sticks in the grass. That's one of the dangers of, um, of AstroTurf cricket. Got to make sure you run on the pitch, slide your bat on the pitch. I'm getting a nod here from Pugsy. Looks like he's been run out many times in his career. And possibly not from the bat sliding incorrectly. <coughs> so Dent him again. Three to come in his spell over the wicket. And another very nice forward defence from Robinson. So exactly 40 to win. There'll be 12 overs left after this one. And uh, they're going to have to get creative with their bowling options, I think. So Van Ufflin with three more. So about three and a half runs and over needed. Short and flicked down the leg side, and it's got through. Short fine leg for four runs.
Michael Robinson is playing a gem of an innings here. <coughs> yeah, 25 off 44 balls with four boundaries. And Harry's just playing the support role, 14 off 33. Just with the one boundary. Sorry, five boundaries. <coughs> 29 off 45 for Robinson. So Sharma back on to bowl here now that uh, the, the captain has bowled his allotted eight. Mick Harry's on strike. Yeah, Sharma three overs, one for 11 so far. Ooh, that sounded like a little edge there. Did you hear that? I didn't actually, know. Should we check Snicko? Yeah. Fortunately, our Snicko technology is not working today. But short, uh, kept a little bit low but wide. Mick Harris likes a little bit of width. Got deep cover out as well, interestingly. And the uh, yes. corner. Yeah, and that deep cover is just 10 in from the, 10 in from the boundary there. Not sure if that's deliberate or not, but he is about 10 off the rope. Cut shot there from Harry's. Didn't quite <coughs> connect the way you wanted to. <coughs> that looked extremely wide, that one. Yep, <coughs> nearly two runs. So another one to the extras. That that takes the total to 11 extras. Very handy 11. I wonder how many uh, Fremantle Mosin Park. Fremantle Mosin Park had 23 extras. Beautiful little cover drive there. They scamper through for a single and well run. Yeah, so Fremantle Mosin Park bowled 18 wides, uh, two no balls, and had three leg bice. That's 23 extras. Um, in comparison, um, it's 11 from Western Suburbs, so they've been pretty tight. Could be the difference in the game. Yep. Oh, oh great shot. shot. Lays back, cuts it over the back. Backward point, and they get through for two. It's a great shot. Hit it straight into the turf and bounced over gully. And that's the 100 up for Freo Mozzie Park. Is it? Is it 100 up or 99? Cut away again, straight to the field of this time. Uh, so I'll hang on, I'm just checking that. It'll be the end of the over. Of course, uh, Chester Ringsell just confirming his return to the Pirates next season. I think the... Uh, the tea ladies around the Wasika will have to be prepared for that one. One of the biggest advocates of a tea break, especially the donuts at Ocean Ridge. And so Dent's now bowled his eight. And so uh, Western Suburbs forced into a bowling change here. 
Uh, the new bowler looks like it's uh, going to be. Is this Winchester or is this Sh is this Winchester? I think Singh. Singh. Where's your mum? So five for 101 here. <coughs> the score is. The score is updated. So this is Singh. Five for 100. Beautiful little square drive there from Mick Harris. <laughs> Sing into Harry's. 32 required for the Pirates. Mick Harris opens the face out to the cover point area and there is no run. Very well played again. Very sensible from these two at the moment. 47 runs is the partnership. It's a game defining partnership this one. Attacking shot this time and it's an edge. Racing down to the third man boundary for four runs. And that'll be the 50 partnership for these two. That's the 50 partnership there lads. Now, I, I, I think that might be an error on behalf of the Western Suburbs there. They, they have not had a slip in, and they're chasing wickets for victory. Uh, I, I, I think it's a no-brainer there. They need, they need to have a slip in there, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. They need, they need to take five wickets here to win the game. That one would have sailed comfortably to a first or second slip. A bit more of an attacking field, I think, will be needed. Another shot into the covers there. He, Mickey uh, saw the width there and, and, and threw the bat at it with, with very little risk. Yeah, this partnership's turned from the Pirates being under, the, under pressure to now Western Suburbs needing to find something to stay in this game. <laughs> Maybe over, it's five for 104, 30 gone. 10 overs left. Sharma into Robinson here. Full toss and smashed. Half track of that one actually, Timmy. Half track is sat up and it was a half track. Sorry. Cut, cut over the top. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that is something that has been a feature of Michael Robinson's innings today. And that is any delivery that he has had loose, he has pounced on. He's put away the bad balls. And respected the good ones, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a great inning so far. Hasn't been afraid to take the aerial route? Yeah, he's taken a few risks, but he's also showed his patience with some very nice forward defence. Wide down the leg side, and another extra, which will be very handy here. Western Suburbs need a wicket here, folks. Yeah, 35 for Robinson now with six boundaries. This is a match-defining partnership. Western Suburbs with their backs up against the wall. They're two strike bowlers, bowled out, <coughs> searching for options. He really likes that cut shot, Robinson. He's he does, doesn't he? Played it well today. I wonder what Selby's thinking here. Who's he going to turn to next? Sharma into Robbo. Robbo's going for a whack. Big shot over the top. Dispatched again to the cow boundary. His eyes lit up there. He saw the length. A straighter delivery and dispatched. The Pirates can almost see the finish line here. What an innings here for Michael Robinson. 
couple of catches as the wicketkeeper. And a, uh, is he into the 40s yet? And 39. A match winning performance here from, um, and a man of the match performance here from Michael Robinson. Can he see uh, the Pirates to the end here? Can the Western Suburbs take his prized wicket? Sharma's in again. And a four defence from Robinson. That's the end of the over. Five for 113 off 31. What well, seems to be the Freeman are doing this comfortably now, but it was not so no, about 15, uh, 20 overs ago, yeah, was it? James changed <laughs> with his partnership. Five for 53, I think, was the score. And... Um, these guys are put on 60. Yeah, do we have a twist in the tail here? Western Suburbs desperate for wickets now. Sing to continue from the river end. Sing's figures are three overs, none for 15. Mick Harry's on strike. Beautiful little cover drive there, but they've got plenty of protection and there's no run. So can these two get the Pirates home from here? Don't want to put pressure on the lower batsman, I wouldn't have thought. Plenty of time still left in the game. Big swing from Harry's. Plan Big miss. swing from Harry's. Big swing. Big swing. though for Luke. Lovely in-swinging Yorker there from Sharma. From Singh, sorry. Great delivery. Very watchful from Harry's. Into the covers. Oh, great piece of fielding there. Very watchful here, Harry's. Hasn't played any rush shots, really. And that's the end of the over. Pirates requiring 19. I'm oh, asked there. Yeah, very good. Five wickets in hand. If I could show you a photo or a picture of the, the, the crowd here, there's a lot of hands on mouths, nails being bitten here. Edge of seat stuff. Yeah, yeah. it really is. So two men dropping back yet. It's like a new bowler and two men back on the leg side straight away. Cow corner. Long on. Ooh, and it's Winchester. Uh, I, I thought this, I thought they possibly could have brought on Winchester um, after Dent or, or Selby here. He, he, um, he's a bit of a change up, a bit of a different t sort of bowler here. And um, I know that uh, Robbo and, and Mike like the pace coming on. So this, this could be very interesting. Is there a twist in the tail here, folks? Straight back Smack down. down the ground. It's running quickly, and it's four runs straight down the ground. Might answer your question there, buddy. Wow. That was a lovely, <laughs> lovely shot. Got it just on the half volley. Yeah. And... Uh, Perhaps, perhaps that's why Selby didn't bring him on any earlier. Right. <coughs> Risk reward here. He's going to flight them up. He's going to tempt them into some shots. Still two What's going to happen here, folks? Side. Oh, 
cut away this time. And just a nice hand on that from the cover fieldsman for a single. Just the one. That was a great touch there from the cover field. I reckon he saved four there. Pirates edging closer to a win. Western Suburbs requiring wickets. Still no slip in. And, and there's now. the wicket they were looking for. Big swing from Harry's and there's a fine edge through to a good catch by the keeper. Still no slip in. And That's a cracking catch. Yeah, great catch. Looks like he was trying to play that one across the line. Great innings pick. there for Mick, eh? Yeah, great innings for Mick. Really uh, got the boys into a good position from um, 5 for 53. Fantastic partnership comes to an end. A match-winning partnership, potentially. Mick Harry's giving Jay-Z some words of wisdom there. He's got some nice applause from the crowd here at Gil Fraser. So got the Pirates into a very comfortable position. <coughs> Great innings there for Mick Harris. I believe he's out for uh, 19 off a very patient 50 deliveries. Yeah, uh, great innings, supporting With, with two fours. <coughs> that might be uh, the slowest uh, strike rate I've ever, I've ever seen of Mick Harris. He's usually at a very aggressive batter. batter. He's, he's shelved that one today. Um, Just played the situation perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Shelved that like a drug trafficker and um, and uh, played a very patient innings. 19 off 50. <coughs> so two balls to come in the Winchester over. Just, uh, brought about that much needed wicket for Western Suburbs. Pressure's on Zelensky here. I'm sure he was pretty happy sitting up in the sheds. And a nice forward defence. Can you, can you kiddies, what's your little one's name? Emmy. Emmy, can you come down and play the two for me? And that's the end of the over. Six for 118. Seven overs remain. 14. 14 to him. <coughs> so plenty of time left in this one. It's a matter of wickets. I think another wicket or two might make the Pirates nervous. As you can see, the shadow is getting longer here in the afternoon. It's ticking close to 5 o'clock here. Beautiful. Autumn afternoon. Yeah, cracking day. Yeah. Beautiful day for cricket. Pirates requiring 14 off 42. Singing again. Full ball and Robinson defends. Well, that wicket was just what Western Suburbs needed, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, that's the one they're after. I'm sure they'll be looking for Robinson's wicket now, but... Well, wouldn't, certainly helps that would, wouldn't that uh, flip this game on its head? Yeah, absolutely. Still looking to play shots, though, Robinson. Slaps that one <coughs> through the offside. No run. I think he'll continue to play his natural game. Yeah, what have they got? And just a, all in, a very interesting field position here in the uh, wide mid-on slash uh, straight and mid-wicket. He's about... You know, he's just outside the ring, isn't he? Yeah, he's about almost two-thirds back, I'd say. I'm not sure if that's a catching position. Interesting, isn't it? There's definite single to him, but anything that pops up. Very watchful, Robinson. Spends that full toss to mid off. Oh, I wonder if those two uh, shots that Robinson's played through that area for four has caused that fielding change. And 
his few shots this over as well at going through mid wicket. He's it's a favourite shot of his, I think. Yeah. Singh bowling a very straight line here, and there's no fine leg. That's that's the uh, the trade off here to have that extra fielder out there. So if he gets too straight, uh, there will be some runs down to fine leg. But so far, um, he's bowling very well to his field. That's the end of the over. So that's a uh, quick over gone. Another over gone, just six to go now. Looks like it'll be Winchester again. Winchester in again. It's Lansky on strike now. Steps back, cuts through the gap. Coming back for a second. Oh, jeez. And four runs. Four runs for Zelensky. He's off the mark beautifully. It was almost a good piece of fielding out on the rope, but he's uh, unfortunately slidden over the line and tapped the ball back in. Four runs to Zelensky. Pirates move to six for one, two, two. Cut again by Zelensky, and this time straight to the fielder. Liking that cut shot, Zelensky. Short and wide, and he's been putting him away. Goes for it again. This time, straight to the fielder. What's the equation here, mate? What do we need? 10 to win. 10 to win off um, 28 balls. Very watchful from Zelensky. Sorry, 32 balls left now. Huh? 32 balls, you're on. Winchester coming in to bowl to Zelensky. Oh. There to be put away. And I'm Zelensky. not sure how that is not a wide. The only fielder in that vicinity was a square. Coming in to bowl to Zelensky. Winchester in again. Another full toss and defended back down the pitch. Another over down. Yeah, another over navigator for Fremantle. Western Suburbs still chasing these these four wickets. Definitely going to take need these wickets here. And the third grade score update: Pirates all out, 126. David Shepherd, 25 not out. We are looking to ball well to defend that one tomorrow. That's played. Glance down the leg side, down to the fine leg boundary, and four runs. And that was the trade off I was talking about last over. They've got that extra fielder three quarters to the mid wicket boundary, and they've taken him from fine leg. And anything that was too straight from Singh here, Robbo was able to push around the corner and. Got four runs for it. So six more required now. Ooh, and a wide called. 
<clears throat> Robinson on 48, not out. Yeah, Walt uh, won hell of an innings here yeah. from Robbo, isn't it, mate? Man of the match performance. Yeah, definitely. From Robinson. Yeah. Um, it'd be nice to see him get, get two more here in Ray's about. Shot. Oh, good piece of fielding, too. I mean, Western Suburbs have, have had a, a fantastic match, and they took those early wickets, but um, Robinson has just played an absolute blinder here, hasn't he? He yeah, has not put a foot wrong. He's been the difference. He's been the difference in this game. Yep. Stepping up when his side needed him the most. At 5 for 53, walking to the crease. He'll be hoping to see the boys home here. So the Pirates have put on 74 runs since Robinson walked to the crease, and he's made 48 of those. Singing again. And leg side glance for Robinson, no run. Singing to Robinson. Robinson on 48. Ooh. Nearly beat the uh, straight gully there. That would have got through for two, and that would have been his 50. Still no fine leg. Still no fine leg, yeah. Or third man. No one on the deep. Uh, in the deep. Sticking to their plans, Western Suburbs. Looking for this wicket of Michael Robinson. And that's down leg side, and that's a wide. Robinson on 48, looking two for his half century. Well deserved half century. He's gone for it. Oh, oh! oh. Great catch with mid wicket on the second attempt, and Robinson has to go for a very well made 48. Uh, not quite. Very disappointed. Robinson walks off. He is he is a, a consulate, a, a desolate Michael Robinson. But what an innings there! Um, risk reward for the Western Suburbs. They they took away their fine leg and they put in that extra fielder in the mid wicket region. And Robinson uh, fell for, fell into the trap. But what an innings! Well deserved applause as he yep. walks off. Forty eight off sixty five with nine boundaries and a match of man of the match performance there if if Freeman and Mozart Park can get across the line here they need five to win three wickets in hand and the number 11 has just gone for some throwdowns which worries <laughs> me a little bit <laughs> he has two folks the number 11 has gone for some throwdowns here in front of us no faith <laughs> in Rich Harris who's just walking out to looks, bat oh my god he's one of the best looking number 11s I've ever seen by the fact look Beautiful forward defense. Oh, she's just been wrapped on the pads. All right. Okay. So, this game is not over, folks. So, four to the crease. Runs to win. And four overs remaining. Western Suburbs just keep staying this game. Yes, they do, don't they? Just, just keeping everyone tantalised tantalisingly close to uh, uh, to win this match, keeping everyone interested. Lovely delivery there. From Van Uffelen. Oh, this is um, Uffelen. Uh, I, call, I, I, I call him Willem. W Will, okay. William, William. From uh, Prince William here. Left arm off spinners. Here he comes again. Well, well, this guy looks links. very handy. Folks, this is getting very interesting. I know it's only four runs to win here, but another wicket here, eight down. And w <laughs> another wicket here. And eight. Toss. Oh, full toss. Where's that going? Smacked oh. away on the leg side for one. Will they come back for a second? I don't think so. Rich Harris will have the strike here. There was a man hiding out in the shadows over there. 
Rich Harry is pretty handy for a number 10, I'd say. Oh, ve yeah, very, very. Rich Harry's taking, uh, looks like he's taking centre guard here with the old AstroTurf chalk. Three runs to win. Captain. Can the captain guide Bring them home? Them. Exactly. Gee, he was getting a little bit narky before with the lads taking the aerial route, wasn't he? Let's see what he does I here. I'd like to see him hit one nicely on the carpet for four runs. Well, this is a fascinating field, folks. We have a four on the off on the offside and five on the leg side, including a deep, wide mid on, a regulation mid on, a cow corner, a mid wicket, and a forward square. So this this is going to be interesting. What's going to happen here? Will you mean short? And he bowls short and wide on the offside, and he hits it. Rich Harris has hit it to the only fielder that he could have hit it to there. He'll be bitterly disappointed with that, but he's still at the crease. Another dot ball. Tension builds here at Gil Fraser. Oh, sh ooh, the quicker one. I thought that was a short one there, but that was uh, purposely bowled there, short. And, and that's the, the end, of, end of the over. For one, two, nine, 37 gone. Three to win off. Three overs. Three overs. And three wickets in hand. Oof. Mate, this is getting tight. Even the major sponsors down here, Shawpack. A big shout out there to Shawpack. I think he's down here to c celebrate one of the uh, club stalwart uh, Stalwart's birthday, Shrugger. Big shout out to Shrugger. Or in Sean McGibbon's language, Sugar. Down at uh, Mrs. Brown's tonight, folks. Go and buy him a pint. So, uh, Sings in, and Zelensky plays a forward defence, no run. Big shout out to our seven watchers. <laughs> short and wide and, fall short. oh, fall short, but they scamper through for the single. Oh, and a direct hit. Now, I tell you what, mate, had that been a regulation gully, that would have been Down out. Down his throat. Still an odd field, I'd say. Sort of a ring field with uh, mid-wicket just two-thirds to the boundary. <laughs> I... Harry's on strike. One to Rich. tie, two to win. Sings in and defended straight back to the bowler. Massive crowd down here, folks. If I had an extra camera, I'd show you. There must be about 150 people here. They are all on the edge of their seats. Where is this next run coming from? I, I agree, mate. This, I, I agree. Sing... Singh is bowling tight lines here, isn't he, mate? He is. He's got the is cover it? cover fielders packed. Where where is it coming from? Looking a little nervous, I think the Pirates. Oh, big swipe across the line. Bang Bang over the top. That's the winning run. That's the way to the bleachers. And after being very angry at his players for taking the aerial route. He has absolutely gone aerial there, and he has set it into the clouds, over the boundary, and almost into the river. Well, he must have been listening to us there, I think, because... Um, there And there goes straight. the Western Suburbs fielder <laughs> trying to pick the ball out of the, out of the, <laughs> out of the uh, dunes there. Shrub. And a great win for the Pirates. He's, uh, 11... 13 balls left, three wickets in hand. They get the job done by Captain Rich Harries with a big, big bomber. With a big bomber. What a great match, folks. And, and, and what, a, what a great contest between bat and ball. You know, the Western Suburbs posting a, a, a modest total in 131. 
Um, they were in trouble early, but they fought back to post that total. And then, you know, the the the, so the competition's leader ladders. Uh, uh, sorry, so ladder leaders, um, and Western Suburbs taking three early wickets, having Fremantle three for six. I mean, the game was in the balance, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, a modest total, but always defendable, in, especially in finals. Bit of pressure early on with some early wickets and put the put the Western Suburbs in a pretty good position. But a great partnership from Robinson and Mick Harries. And is there any question to who the man of the match is, mate? Robinson for me. Yeah, me, me too. Robinson for me. And I, I think most people would, would be in agreement of that. So will that be a home final for the Pirates next weekend? I think it will be, mate. Yeah, so next Saturday back here at Gil Fraser um, for a final. I think we're still waiting on the result of um, of the other final. Uh, let's hope we can tune in there now. Uh, it, it looks like it should definitely be um, Subimaris, who are a very difficult team. And I'm, I'm, I'm led to believe that... Um, Fremantle have not beaten Subimarist in two games this uh, this season. Uh, from two games, Subimarist have won both. So it will be a um, a tough matchup. Well, th thanks for thanks thanks for watching, folks. It's been another Body Box production. Big uh, big shout out to uh, Jack Lafroy on on the commentary today and a few other commentators as well. And a uh, very big thanks to Tim Bott as well for the production, the camera work, the commentary, and uh, production. Yeah. Thank you very much. And tune in uh, next week, folks. Uh, it'll be another 12 o'clock start back at the Gill. A great effort from the umpires today. We've got to thank those as well. Thanks to the umpires, yep. as always. Yep. Uh, the game wouldn't, uh, wouldn't exist without them. And, um, and we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be great, won't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay.